I bought every single highlighter that is sold in store at Sephora so you don't have to. And today we're gonna test them out back to back, starting from least expensive to most expensive. So sit back, relax. It's going to be a long one, but very informative. And I can't wait to show you all of these highlighters. Now make sure you stick around to the end because I'll be sharing the ones I think you should avoid and ones I think that are top rated and just the best at Sephora. So be sure to comment below and let me know which one is your favorite that you see out of this video and let's get right into it. The first highlighter that I'm gonna try in this massive haul is going to be from Sephora brand. Now, if you watched any of my previous hauls, like my blush one, my bronzer one, all of the least expensive products in those categories were from Sephora brand. So it's no surprise that the first one is $18. It's from Sephora. It's a duo, which I think is fantastic. I love duo products. I think that you just get great variety for you know what you're paying for, especially with this is $18 and you get two very beautiful highlighters. I cannot wait to try this on because I've always been really impressed with all of Sephora brands products I've tried so far. So let's hope this one doesn't disappoint. I have the shade Golden Hour, so it's two different shades. So I think we'll try one on top of the other. I'm gonna start with a 108 brush from BK Beauty. This is like a very small, nice like precision brush where I can get in there and like really highlight certain parts of my face. So I'll be testing all of these highlighters on the top of this cheekbone. This is the cheekbone that I always use for these videos. So um, here we go. First highlighter from Sephora. Let's try it on. I'm going to start with this lighter shade. So the lighter shade, you can see it's almost more of a baked product. Okay. So there's low beam, which is this one, right? So it's more of like a, you know, softer, soft focus kind of highlighter. It's not like a beaming glittery highlighter. And then this one is high beam. That's cute. That's really cute. So low beam, high beam. This is the low beam. Blend it on very nice. Doesn't feel, you know, like dry or chalky. Very nice formula, but I'm, I'm actually, I'm not expecting anything less from Sephora brand because I've just, I've been loving the products I've tried so far. So now let's go with high beam. High beam is the more intense highlighter of the two. I dip my brush in there. It's a little itty bit of yeah, there's a little bit of fallout. So I'm gonna tap off this excess. Now we're gonna layer it just near it, near the other one. Now it, it did cling to some wet areas of my skin where I don't, I actually really just to let you know, I, I only have foundation on in this area and I have of course some concealer under my eye, but I didn't set this area in my face. I just want to stay consistent and easy throughout this long try on video. And also to call out, this is the foundation that I have on today. So it's the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless 3-in-1 Foundation. I'm choosing this because it's like a nice satin to semi-matte finish and it just feels nice and comforting on my skin. Let me dip back into the high beam just really quick and give it more thought. Okay, very pretty. The high beam is definitely high. Like I feel like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> my cheek looks like it's made of tin, um, very like metallic. But for being a very like metallic finish, it doesn't accentuate my pores too much. Like I can see my pores a little bit, but it's very minor. And usually with like super intense highlighters, like more chunky highlighters, they tend to accentuate any texture in your pores or in your skin in general. So it's something to look out for. This one I'm getting just very minimal. I'm, I'm experiencing that very minimally. So with that said, I think this is a really great option for anyone highlighter wise. So if you are in the market for a highlighter and you like the idea that you get a more less intense version and then a bumped up version. So like, let's say you use this one for a day. This would be a great option for night when you're hitting the town and you want your highlighter to be very much like well known that it's there. I think this is a really good option. It's an incredible price point. So if you're looking for a good quality highlighter where you get some variety mixed in for only 18 bucks. I think this is a really great option. I think oily skin can wear this. I think if you have a lot of texture in your skin, I would stay away from it just because, you know, if you put in certain areas of your cheek, it can maybe accentuate pores or texture a little bit more than some other formulas that I'm sure we'll get to in a minute. But I do think like if you have mature skin, you could still pull this off. Absolutely. So those are my thoughts on this one. Would I repurchase this? Definitely. I think this is a great solid formula. So once again, that is the Sephora brand duo highlighter. Next up is also $18. It's from Tower 28. We're switching now to a more of like a cream gel type formula. This is a really interesting product and it's something that I use in my professional makeup kit for unexpected reasons <laughs> that I won't get into because it's too long-winded, but this is the Tower 28 Super Dew highlighter in the shade No Shade. So it's just 
a completely clear, kind of like a, it's like a glossy balm basically. So let me just show you it too, because it's not gonna show up that much on camera, but let me just show you like texture wise. It's basically like a clear balm. That's it, you know, very much like a petroleum jelly, like an aquaphor. You're gonna get the same exact effect with those kind of products. Now, this is something that I only use in my kit when I'm doing like a skincare campaign. I'll do this and I'll dab it on like the high points for the extra juicy, glowy, you know, good skin type look. So this is not something I use for like a glam moment. So let me just preface it by saying that. So it's very specific, it's very unique. It It's very simple, just straightforward. So I've, I have tons of experience with it. I've used it a million times, it's gonna be no surprise, but let me show you what it looks like on. And I'm actually going to apply this with my fingertips, okay? I'm not gonna use a brush. The brush tends to soak up the product and it really just kind of gets trapped within like the bristles of a, any brush that you're using. And the same thing with like a beauty blender, it's just not impactful enough. This is the time that you bust out your fingers and you dab it on. So without further ado, let me show you what the Tower 28 No Shade Super Dew Highlighter looks like. I'm gonna hit this high point on my cheek right here. You know, so it's just very simple. This is also a great product. Like let's say you're a makeup artist and you need to fake the look of sweat on someone's face. Well, look no further. You just need to tap this on or you use aquaphor. That's, you know, the easiest, cheapest way to do something like that. But that's the look, okay? Kind of has like that. Remember when glass skin had a moment? Everybody talked about glass skin. It was like every tutorial you saw on the internet was how to get glass skin. This was how you could get glass skin, literally. So this is the... Tower 28 highlighter. I recommend this for anyone who's looking for a very natural, no fuss, no added jazz or anything kind of highlighter. So if you want like that juicy, glowy, balmy, I just have really hydrated skin kind of highlighter look. And you don't want to actually see any flecks of luminosity or like illuminators or uh, like pearlescent pigments in your highlighter, then this is absolutely for you. So I recommend this for anyone who's going for a very, very simple, natural, glow. So once again, that is the Tower 28 Super Dew Highlighter in the shade No Shade. Next up, we have one for $20. It's from Danessa Myricks. It's the Vision Flush Glow Color for All Over Face. I'm really excited to try this. I know this is like a classic Danessa Myricks formula. I've been wanting to try this actually for a really long time. So I picked up the shade Electric Love and all of the shades to choose from looked beautiful but this one just stuck out to me. I'm I'm such a sucker for rose gold, like rose type pink, like more pink undertone highlighters. I just, I love them. They're just so feminine and I don't know. I'm just a big sucker for that. So this is a beautiful pink tone highlighter. It's in a liquid form. So it's got like a little doe foot applicator, kind of like a gloss. Let me just swipe it on top of my hand to get a feel of what the product is gonna be like before I put this on my face. So you can see it's very, glowy, obviously. This has a nice feeling to it. This doesn't feel like it's gonna dry down. Interesting. Wow, this feels really nice. I wasn't expecting this kind of feeling. I was expecting to feel, or it to feel like a liquid eyeshadow that's gonna dry down really quick and start to get like, like just crusty, basically. Not getting that from this. So this is an interesting one. Could go many ways. But I think the way we're gonna take this is I'm going to apply more to the top of my hand because I don't really wanna hit the applicator to my face. And I'm gonna grab a 109 from BK Beauty. This is that one that has like a little slant to it. And we're gonna tap this on with the brush. So tapping it on. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Feels very balmy, I have to say. I just, I can't get over the feeling of it. I wasn't expecting it to have this kind of hydrating, like fresh kind of, almost like an oil-based kind of feeling. Feels really, really nice on my skin. Blends out in two seconds, but I also think that has something to do with the fact that I pre-blended it on my hand with my brush and then I hit my skin with it. So it just made it really easy overall, like application wise. I'm not sure how easy it would be to swipe it onto my skin. So since we already know this is a great application for this kind of product and this formula, let's just go for it and let's just do a little bit of this too. And let's tap it in and just see what we can get. Okay, so still easy, still very, wow, still very easy to blend out. I am being careful because I don't want to lift up the highlighter that I already put underneath it. Wow, I mean, that's beautiful. I love this. I'm, this is fantastic. <laughs> 
I might have to go pick up more shades. This is a beautiful, first of all, the shade is beautiful, but it's not about the shades. It's about the formula. Formula is fantastic. I think this would be a really great formula if you have dry skin because it just feels so nourishing on my skin. If you have oily skin, it might be a little, it might be leaning on too much of an, like an oily, shiny side. Um, if, if you don't want to add too much extra shine to your skin with like an oilier product, if you're really oily, you might want to stay away from this one or just maybe use with caution or just be aware of that going into it. Combination skin, great. I think even if you have texture in your skin, I don't see this. I don't see this being an issue and I don't see this enhancing texture. Like I've pointed out and it might be hard to pick this up on camera. I do have larger pores right here in the inner part of my cheek. That's usually a telltale sign for me if like a highlighter is gonna be just too chunky. It'll always accentuate those little pores I have right here. This didn't do that. It still looks really fresh, really glowy. So again, I think this is a great one for pretty much anyone that other than someone who has really, really oily skin. So mature, young, dry, combo, all good. And I think it's beautiful. I really think this is stunning. Um, I could look at this forever. It's so pretty. I'm definitely gonna keep wearing this. You'll probably see me wear this a lot in my tutorials coming up. I think this would also be a good product to use underneath your foundation. So as maybe for like an underpainting product, if for like that glow from within type look, I think this would be a really good formula. I can't see it interfering much if you if you put your foundation on top of it. I think it would still be a really solid combination. I think they'd work well in that in that step, having it underneath versus on top. So play with it. I'm gonna also try and make, mix it maybe into another liquid blush to add some like more luminosity to it. I think it's just a really good multi-function, multi-purpose, multi-use product. So definitely check this one out. Highly recommend it for $20. It's to me, it's a no, you can't even like second guess it. 20 bucks, great formulation. Highly recommend this one from Danessa Myricks. Would I go back out and repurchase it? 100%. This next one is $21. It's from Kaja. I love this brand Kaja. I love their Bento Beauty box eyeshadows, like the trio of eyeshadows. I use them all the time. And I have used this in the past. I kind of forgot what my thoughts were on it. So I'm really excited to try it again years later. It's the Bouncy Blendable Highlighter. It's called the Mochi Glow Bouncy Blendable Highlighter. I picked up the shade 01 Toy Alien and I really picked up this shade because of the name alone. I just thought it was really cute. So let's try on Toy Alien from Kaja. Just take this little seal off first. Okay, now we can try it. Super cute packaging. I think it's really cute, compact. Oh, it's got a little toy alien separated from the pan. It's okay. We'll forgive it, even though I could just do this to it right now. That happens. Clearly, this is a very soft highlighter. Like, it's not pressed hard into this container. It is a soft product. Like, it even says on the package, it's a bouncy, it's a bouncy something. Hold on. What is it? It said it was a bouncy blendable highlighter. So... If they're saying bounce, that means it literally has boop. Like you can make a fingerprint into it. It's very soft. So use with caution, be careful. Don't stop touching it and playing with it like I am. So without further ado, let's try on number 01 Toy Alien from Kaja. I'm gonna grab a small delicate brush for this because I don't wanna risk breaking this. So I'm gonna dip into it. Okay, I'm actually kind of remembering this formula now. So I'm gonna get a good amount. This formula, from what I remember, it built up excess oil on the top of the pan pretty quickly. So after a while, it's gonna have like this kind of harder layer, which you could easily kind of just flake off or like a mascara spoolie, like a clean one, but we won't get into that. Let's just test out the actual product. Okay, there we go. There it is. Ooh, very pretty. I'm gonna go for this. I just need to see, I need to get in here and feel it for a second. Let's just tap it on with the finger as well. Okay. So you can use this in like a strategic way, like tapping it and pressing it. I'm basically pressing it onto my cheekbone right here and I'm getting really good impact using it that way. I got nice impact as well with the brush. It was just a little bit softer. I can see myself wanting to use this more with more pressure. So in actuality, I should probably just switch the brush to be quite honest. So let's let's switch the brush. Let's use a more dense brush. This is a 108 from BK Beauty. It's still fluffy, but it has much more density. There's more fibers packed into this brush. So it should pick up more of this highlighter and then we'll move on. Yeah, that's way better. Way better brush choice, better than the fingers. Super pretty. It's definitely very soft, very fine. It's got a bit of a patchiness to it. 
Um, it's not like the smoothest, like evenly distributed, opaque highlighter product. It has like some, like I can see some patchiness going on in here where the product is just not laying on my skin in an even way. Yeah, and it's definitely getting a little bunched up in certain areas of my skin. Yep, it's kind of, uh, it's sitting in my pores. I can actually see it sitting inside of my pores, which is not a good thing because then that actually is just gonna accentuate your pores a lot. <laughs> so I don't really want that. It is a beautiful highlighter, I will say. I feel bad not loving this one because I really just, I really like this brand, but it is what it is and we're testing it for a reason. Not the best formula. It's pretty, you could see a glow, but when you really look close, it's kind of like one of those, it looks good from afar. It looks great from afar, it would probably look great in photos, but up close, if you're person to person, like face to face with someone, you're gonna see texture and you're gonna see that it's sitting in my pores and not in a really cute, not in a cute way at all. So for that reason, I don't think I would recommend this one um, because it's just a little more difficult to, to work with and it doesn't look great up close. From afar, totally fine. Up close, not so much. Yeah, I would say skip this one. I'm sorry, Kaja. For $21, it's still fine, but up close, it's an issue. So once again, that is the Kaja Bouncy Blendable Highlighter. Next up, we're in the $22 range. This is from Glossier and it's the Halo Scope Highlighter. I picked up the shade Quartz. Quartz looks like a nice champagne tone. Um, I've never tried this before. It has a mixture. So I'm assuming it looks like, and I'll, I'll get to the bottom of it in a second, but it has a clear, probably like a very shiny, uh, like a gel in the center for like that extra ju juicy glow. And then it has like the actual like tinted luminous highlighter around the side. So products like this, where it's like a hybrid of two creams, I don't ever recommend you just going and swiping on your skin. You're gonna have a really difficult time blending the two worlds together because they're gonna go on stripey and separate. I don't like like this idea personally for that reason. I just think it's more difficult to, to work with. You end up as a consumer just working harder to make these two products work together. So it just, I, it, it's pointless to me personally. So what I recommend is take it, now, this is, you know, one of my tricks I do all the time on my channel. Pre-blend it, pre-work those two products together on your hand. This is taking some more effort than I thought to like kind of warm this up on my hand. And luckily I'm doing this on my hand and not my skin because it minimizes the tugging. It minimizes like the frustration of making this blend onto my skin. And so it's just gonna cause less irritation as well, like at the end of the day. So I'm, I'm pre-warming it up on my hand. Now, once I get a good amount, because I feel like I'm gonna need a good amount for this to really show up on my skin and on camera. So once I have a good amount, I'm gonna take a brush and then directly apply it from my hand to my face. But that's the color. And I think I'm gonna use a 109 from BK Beauty. It's like a little slanted, slightly flat brush. I'm gonna dip into that highlighter and let's go for it. I should in theory have a lot on my brush after that. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know where this went. It like disappeared into my hand. Let me just go directly to the source. All right, and get a, a bunch on my brush. I don't know about this. I've already made a dent in this product just trying to get it to show up. I mean, it shows up. It's just so lacking in the glow department. Very disappointing. Um, this formula is just, whatever. Uh, I hate to be, I'm not trying to be mean. So it's $22. How much product is in it? Let me try just using my fingertips for, for just to try it out. Okay. So I have some. As I'm trying to push more on, it's lifting the other product that's already on my skin off. So you're getting this like spongy, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain, but it's really not the best method to apply something like that. All right. What are my thoughts on this? I'm very disappointed. It's $22, it's not horribly expensive. I kind of am not surprised just based on this brand that this is like the kind of like delivery that I would get with this kind of product. They're just a really, they've always been like a really natural, like no makeup, makeup brands. And I, for me, it's just never been like my cup of tea. Like I'm a makeup girl. I want makeup that's gonna actually deposit stuff on my face and make it worth it. And just, it just isn't for me personally. Like I know there's people out there that love this brand. That's totally fine. And you might enjoy this highlighter, but for me personally, I think this is a really big disappointment. I don't even like the finish that it has on my skin. It's just not a good formula. I think that's just the best way I can describe it. Like plain and simple without getting into too much detail and without just 
like being mean about it. I think it's just not a good formula at all. So I wouldn't waste your money on this one. I would definitely skip this one. Is there anyone I recommend it for? I mean, not really, because I don't believe in the formula. So I don't believe in recommending it for anyone if I don't think the formula is good. So that once again is the Glossier Halo Scope in the shade Quartz. Next up, we're in the $24 range. And for that, you get the Milk Makeup Highlighter just a highlighter. <laughs> and I have the shade Lit. I actually have all the shades from this and I, spoiler alert, I actually really like this product. I think it's a really good product. Now I've talked about this before in my bronzer video and I think also in my blush haul video, don't be alarmed or don't be fooled by the size of this. You get just as much product in this as you do for a lot of different highlighters. So again, don't be fooled. You get a ton of product that goes all the way down in here. So now that I got the little speech out of the way, let's test it out. I already love the shade. I use it all the time. Like I said, you can see this one's definitely used and worn. So let me show you what the Milk Highlighter Stick in the shade Lit looks like on. Now my preferred method to apply this is what you see me do a lot, which is taking my brush. For this, I'm gonna use a 113 from BK Beauty. Any small little semi-fluffy, semi-flat brush will work great. And I like to dip directly into the product, take the product from the applicator and then apply it. So just tapping it on. The formula doesn't rip apart my makeup underneath. It doesn't disrupt it. It doesn't lift it. It doesn't separate it, anything like that. Now, I don't like to swipe this directly on my skin because then I do run the risk of actually lifting up my foundation. So this is my preferred method, like as you know, if you're not new to my channel. I love this formula because I haven't met one foundation that didn't wear well with this formula. And also I have not met any age that does not look good with this formula. I have this in my professional makeup kit. I, like I said, I use this and the bronzing formula all the time. It's a really great formula, but the highlighter specifically, I think is great for even if you have texture, if you have fine lines, if you have mature skin, young skin, oily skin, does not matter. I think this is a great, great universal cream highlighter for anyone. Anyone who's looking for a cream highlighter, I highly recommend you check out this formula. So once again, that is the Milk Makeup Highlighter. It's the cream, it's in the shade Lit. And you can see, it just gives a really beautiful, glowy finish to my skin. Not chunky, not too thick, it's it's like just right. We're now in the $25 price range and I have two coming up that are both fantastic from Rare Beauty. The first one I'm gonna tackle is the powder highlighter. This is the highlighter powder from Rare Beauty. I have the shade Exhilarate. These are phenomenal, like these are, Wow. I mean, if you want a powder highlighter that is just, you can see it from miles away, you have to try this. Now, the other thing I love about this too, and you'll see in a second, it's a very fine baked type product, like baked highlighter. It's not chunky. It's not overly glittery. It gives a really striking glow to your skin. So let me show you what this looks like on. Now I prefer to put this on with something that's smaller and fluffy or bigger and fluffy, whatever you prefer, but something like along, along this size is what I prefer. It's not a densely packed brush. It's nice and fluffy because I want a soft application of this because it's so intense, which let me show you right now how intense this is on. So I'm gonna sweep this across the top of my cheekbone. It does have a bit of fallout if you go too aggressively into the pan. So I don't recommend you just doing what I did and swirling way too much. But now let's get into what it looks like on. So I'm gonna hit this high point and it spreads too. It really like, I obviously just put way too much on, but you can see, you could probably see from space to be quite honest. And please again, ignore how much I just put on my skin. I really, really overdid it with this. It's easy to overdo. Um, so that's something I should definitely point out. It's not for the faint of heart. If you're looking for a natural powder highlighter, don't do this one. If you're looking for wow, impactful, little itty bit goes a long way, then definitely give this one a shot. What I really like about it though is, yes, it's like a super intense highlighter. It's very much in your face, but it's not like a chunky one that would accentuate any fine lines, any large pores you have like around your cheek area. It's not gonna do any of those things. It actually leaves your skin with like a nice, smooth, luminous finish. So I love it for that. I think that anyone, any age could use this product. Don't be afraid of it. If you have mature skin, you don't need to pack it on like I just did. You can use it very sparingly and just on top of the areas that you wanna highlight and bring out even more. I think it's a great, great product. So I recommend it for anyone. Like I said, as long as you're looking for more of an impactful, glowy highlighter, this is it for sure. So once again, that is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Exhilarate. Same brand, same price point, it's $25. It's also from Rare Beauty. These are gorgeous. Now, <laughs> totally spoiler alert, I have to just admit, I. 
You know I go hard for Rare Beauty. I love their products. I think they have incredible products with great prices. Um, this is the liquid highlighter. So I have a shade that's pretty light. I actually have the lightest shade. Um, this was pulled from, again, from my makeup kit. I didn't wanna buy another one, so just bear with me. I'm gonna try the lightest one on that they carry, but they do have, just so you know, three other shades to choose from, like a rose type one, more of a golden one, and an even deeper bronze one that are beautiful. So let's try on the lightest one. And let me show you how beautiful this is on. So my preferred way to apply this, take it on the top of my hand, just like that, nice and easy. You can take any kind of flat brush. I'm gonna use a clean one from Half Caked. It's a 240 blush brush. Take the product. You could also, this is actually a great formula to use with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. You dip in it, same method, and you tap it onto your skin. This just ensures that when you're using a liquid highlighter or a liquid illuminator type product on top of existing foundation and let's say blush or bronzer, that you're being gentle and you're just tapping it on top of it and you're not ruining the makeup that's underneath because you have to be careful when you're layering wet products on top of other wet products because it's, you know, it's easy to ruin those products underneath if you're too aggressive with your application. So this is my preferred application. I'm gonna apply a little bit more, but I love this because you can either mix it into your foundation, you can use it beforehand for like a glow from within type look, or you can do it this method, which is just applying it on top. So apply it on top of the cheekbones, you can apply it down the bridge of your nose, anywhere you're gonna highlight. So it's a very thin formula. It's not like a thick, messy, type highlighter, unless you like directly swipe it on with the applicator, then I think it actually is very messy. So again, this is how I like to apply. I applied way too much now, <laughs> but you get the idea. It's super glowy, it has a good dry down time. So it will dry down on your skin, which I think is also really helpful because a lot of liquid illuminators or liquid glowy products tend to never dry down. So they're just a mess throughout the day. Like as you're wearing them, they just break apart your makeup they can. I'm not going to call it any specific ones, but like they can break down your makeup. This one is nice because it actually does dry down after you're done applying it to your skin. So it's going to wear a long time in that regard. It's going to wear like anything else on your skin, like powder blush. It's going to wear like that kind of way. So it's going to dry down, which is amazing because it's not going to slip and slide throughout the day. So I love this formula. I think this is a beautiful, really well formulated liquid illuminator. I wish I had the other colors to show you, but just trust me, they're all really beautiful. So once again, that's the liquid illuminator from Rare Beauty in the shade Enlighten. Next up is $26. This is from the brand Refi. It's the gloss highlighter. I picked up the shade Topaz. Really excited for this. Really, really excited for this. It looked beautiful. Let me just cut this open, hang on. It looked beautiful in store. I picked up the shade Topaz, which looked so beautiful. And I'm excited to try this. I'm really, really excited to try this. If I can get it open, we'll have a lot of fun trying it. Okay, cute packaging. I love the little tube. I love their color, like their brand color. Very modern. So let's open this up. It's a squeeze tube which means we're gonna squeeze it on top of my hand. Ooh, let's do a little swatchy swatch. Wow, this has a very jelly-like texture. Ooh, wow, that's beautiful. So I wanna point out, this is probably a product, well, this is a product that I would more than likely use underneath my makeup to give that lit from within type look. So like that glow from within, that juicy skin underneath your foundation. You could probably also Depending on the formula, use this as a mixing product into your foundation to give it more glow. So like taking a matte product or a matte foundation, mixing this into it just to give it like that, that luminosity and more of a glowy finish. But for the sake of this video, I think I'm gonna apply it onto my foundation. I'm gonna pump out a little bit more and let's apply this with a flat brush, okay? I wanna just swipe this onto my skin. This is just a clay de Poe foundation brush and we're gonna do a swipey swipey and then pat. Okay, so this works great still on top of foundation. Definitely be careful because with liquid products, you always run the risk of it breaking down your makeup underneath. So I do think the best way to apply this, like I said, is underneath as a glowy priming product, like a priming base or as a mixing medium. So like mixing into your matte foundations. But you can see it looks really pretty on top of my foundation as well. I think it just, it's a little bit more tricky to apply something like this on top of liquid formulas but really pretty. It loses its pigmentation once it hits your skin. So like, for example, let me show you one more time. It looks like it's gonna have a lot of color behind it. It has that topaz, bronzy 
color in it, like it has color to it, but once it hits my skin, you kind of lose that color. So it's not, there's not a lot of, how do I explain it? There's not a lot of like pigment behind it. It's more of like a sheer amount of color. But once you blend in, you don't really see that color anymore. It just kind of disappears. Okay, so it looks like I could layer it a little bit, which I am right now. It's it's layering decently. It's a very wet, glossy, balmy, juicy highlighter. So if you're looking for that, I think this is a really pretty option. Don't really see it accentuating my pores much other than just making them look a little sweaty because it's glossy, um, but it's not really accentuating like texture in my skin. I think this would be really great for anyone who has dry skin and wants that extra little boost of juiciness and hydration to their skin, or at least give it the look of more juicy hydration. If you have oily skin, you might wanna be a little careful with this because it is a really balmy formula that might not sit the best on top of your skin type. Combination skin, great. Mature, young, go for it. I think all in all, this is a really pretty product, but I would stick to using this as a before foundation glow enhancing product. If you use it that way, then I highly recommend it. So once again, yeah, for $26, the gloss highlighter from Refi, really pretty. And would I purchase this again to use as a glowy underneath product? Yes. Now for $28, we're gonna test out the YSL New Halo Tint Highlighter. It's a liquid highlighter. I have the shade New Rosy Quartz. It looked really beautiful. I have tested out the blushes in the same formula for my last video for the blush haul video. So I'm excited to see what this looks like on and like how pearlescent it is. So let's give it a try. So this is a squeeze tube. What I like to do is apply it first onto my hand, just like that. And you know what? One of the best ways and easiest ways to apply a squeeze tube product of any kind, take the bigger part of your beauty blender. So as you can see, I've been using mine today to reapply my foundation. I like to give it a quick little even distribution on top of my hand. So that way when I put my beauty blender on top of my hand, if I was just to like pounce on top of that big blob of product, it would instantly, no matter what, it will instantly soak up some of that product. So this is like less likely it's gonna soak up as much if you do it this way. So taking the big part of that sponge, I tap into it and tap it onto my skin. and it doesn't really do much. <laughs> That's interesting. So once I try to like blend it out with my finger, you probably won't be able to tell, but it's crumbling on my hand. That's really annoying. That's not like an easy way to apply this. All right, let's do something different since I wasn't expecting it to be so dry once it's like played with. Let's try it this way. Okay, I'm gonna take my finger. This is not how I would normally apply it because you don't have as much control, but let's just test it out. Yeah, it's gonna go on patchy with my finger, but at least we're getting some pigment. Okay, it's better. It's much better. It feels very thick, oddly enough. It feels like a very thick, pasty, yeah, that's what it is. It has like a pasty texture. You know, at first I thought it was really going to accentuate my pores that I have right here, but it's not so bad. It's not that bad. Either way, I don't think this is like a very easy formula to work with, to be quite honest, unless you're like a, a pro makeup artist and you've tried you know, your experience with lots of different formulas. I don't think this is a very user-friendly formula to try out. What do we think of that? I guess it's just okay. For $20, it's okay. The price point's not bad, but I don't think this is easy to work with. Like I said, you saw like the application was definitely difficult. I wasted a ton of product. This is already so dried, so dried down on my hand that I could barely get it off. So formula-wise, I'm not impressed by the formula. I don't actually don't like the formula. I really think it's difficult to work with. Do I recommend it for anyone? Not really. I don't think it's really worth checking out to be quite honest. So those are my thoughts on the YSL Halo Tint Highlighter. This next one is from Freck. It's also $28. This is called the Slime Light. It's a hologram highlighter. So it's got like that holographic type reflective quality, which I think is really fun. Like I, I love holographic anything, but let's see what it looks like as a highlighter. I have used this in the past. It's been a minute since I've tried this. I actually I already had this in my possession, so I didn't have to purchase this for this haul, which was whew, great. But I don't remember what my thoughts were exactly. So we're gonna try it again and hopefully I'll remember what I thought about it initially. So same application method. I'm going to squeeze some out on my hand. Really pretty. Oh, also, I'm sorry, I should mention the shade. The shade of this one is Space Face. So this is Space Face from Freck. It's a pink highlighter. We're gonna do a similar application. So we're gonna take this last clean side of my beauty sponge dip into it. it, has like a blue reflective holographic type finish. So now let's take that. Ooh. 
Pretty. Wow. Much easier to work with than that last one. Hmm. Very pretty. I'm actually going to apply more. You know, this is all about like making sure we apply enough. And I do feel like that sponge did eat up a lot of that product. So let's try another brush. Just take a clean little blush brush, dab into it. And let's get some more color payoff, hopefully. All right, so formula wise, it's an easier formula than the YSL that we just tried, much easier. But I mean, it's okay, it's pretty. It's definitely okay. I still don't think it's that easy to blend onto my skin. As I try to layer it, it's definitely, it's lifting the layer that's underneath up a bit, which is gonna happen sometimes if you're not careful. If you just layer too much while it's still wet, that's gonna happen inevitably. So that is partly my fault. That's actually a lot to do with how I just applied it. But that initial application with the sponge, it went on really soft, went on really pretty, went on nice and even. I just didn't feel like I had enough of it. So that's why I went in with the extra layer. But hindsight wise, I wouldn't do that. Don't do it the way I just applied it. Just apply a thin layer and leave it because now I'm getting that lifting effect and I'm getting a patchiness to it because of my error of immediately repeating the steps and immediately like layering another wet amount of it on top of the other wet amount that I had on my skin. So one thing to point out, it's not really buildable. So just keep that in mind. So one application is all you're gonna get out of it. You're not gonna be able to layer an additional layer of this on top for more impact, but it was fine. It was a pretty enough impact on its own. So with that said, would I recommend it? I wouldn't not recommend it. It's not my favorite liquid highlighter. I don't think I would ever go out and like buy it again when I run out, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll use it and I'll enjoy it, but I don't think I'd ever like go out again to repurchase it. I wouldn't recommend this for mature skin. I think it's just a little too much of a chunky. It's definitely more of a chunky glitter. Now I'm all about chunky glitters for mature skin on your eyes. I say go big or go home with your eyes. But when you're dealing with your face and you have more mature skin, it could be, it's a, it's kind of a different category. It's a little bit of a different category in my opinion. So you know, your skin, you really want to look more smooth. And if you have mature skin, the last thing you want to do is apply a chunkier highlighter on your skin if it's more, more mature, because it's going to accentuate those fine lines, those enlarged pores, texture, anything like that. So I'd recommend this more for like, you know, more young skin. I hate to say it. Um, oily skin can definitely use this combination dry, sure. But those are my thoughts on the Freck. Would I go out and repurchase it? Probably not. But is it a nice highlighter? It's it's definitely nice. Next up is also $28. It's also a liquid. It's from Say. I've already used this. I can tell you right now, I do really enjoy this product. Let me show you what it looks like on. I do have the mini right here. Okay, so the mini size, this size in particular is $16, which is a great deal. Super expensive. Great size if you're a makeup artist or great size if you're just always on the go and you want smaller compact products to carry around with you. Now the full size, which is not this one, is $28. That is why it's in this category right here. But without further ado, let's try on the Say Glowy Super Gel. It's in the shade Star Glow. This is like the original shade. I believe they have two shades now, which is great. I'm gonna apply this to my hand because it is a pumped product. So you pump it out. I already know that I love the texture of this product. It has a really just lightweight gel-like texture. I'm gonna be applying this with a 108 from BK Beauty. And there's a couple ways you can wear this. One would be on top of your makeup, like I am right now, and it gives a very glossy, glowy finish. But my favorite way to apply this product is underneath your makeup or as a mixing medium. Let's say you have a more matte finish foundation and you wanna be able to like sheer it out, give it more of a natural glowy finish. You can mix this into that product or any product of your choice really. And it'll give you that more glowy finish to your foundation. Underneath makeup is really where it's at for me with this product. It's just the easiest to use. It's super blendable. It looks gorgeous underneath your makeup, like I said, or even like your tinted moisturizer. So if you want that extra glow, like that juicy glow and lit from within look underneath your makeup, this is a great, great product to use. Um, super easy to blend, like I said. Doesn't give you a glittery look. It gives you more of like a wet pearlescent, like slightly pearlescent finish to your skin. So it's great for anyone with mature skin. It's great for anyone with enlarged pores. I even think this is a great highlighter for more oily skin because it definitely stays put. It's not like super greasy or super oily in a sense where it's gonna make your oily skin look even more shiny. It's gonna make it shiny, but in a nice way. So I love this product. Again, I think it's great underneath your makeup. On top of makeup, it gives you like that glossy, glowy, glass skin type look. You have to be careful when you're putting it on top of makeup because you don't wanna rub it too much and have it kind of melt into your makeup and create like that muddied effect with your makeup. So tapping it on like this is the way to go. But overall, I love this product. I think it's a really beautiful, 
liquid illuminator and I highly recommend this one. Now we're in the $29 category and this is from Iconic London. I've actually always wanted to try this. I've just never gone around to doing it for some reason, probably because I have so much makeup to just get through. But this is a really cool idea. It's called the Roll Away Glow. It's a liquid highlighter. I picked out the shade Peach Paradise. There's a couple of shades to choose from. Like I said, this is $29. I already can tell you that I love how cute this little size is. I think, I don't, I just, I love little things like this. They're just so much more convenient. I'm always in my head like thinking like small is better, small is better in your makeup kit <laughs> and just in my day-to-day -day life too. But um, let's try it out. I cannot wait. And since this is a roll-on and I think that's actually the intended way to apply it, we're gonna go for it. But before I do, I am going to get the product distributed into this roll-on ball first by just running it onto my hand Okay, wow, very impactful, super glowy. I am so excited to try this. So there are directions. It does say roll in circular motions onto large areas of the face or dots for precision application. Makes sense, let's do it. High point is right here. Well, you definitely don't get an even application when you roll it directly on your skin. I'm gonna take my finger now and just see how this works. Okay, that's no, really pretty. So even though we started out kind of on the wrong end with, with the roll on application method. The way it goes on, like the way it blends into your skin is actually really nice. Almost has like an, an oilier feeling to it. So just keep that in mind. Maybe if you're more oily skinned, probably stay away from it just cause it might not be the easiest formula for you or the best formula I should say for your oily skin. If you're dry, you might love this. I'm gonna apply some more. I wanna just, I wanna kind of apply more. So I'm gonna do like a method that I would actually do. Take a brush and just see. Hmm. Okay, so it's not, it's a cute idea. Okay, oh, okay, this is better. This is way better. Don't use your finger. All right, that's a better method. I still don't think the roll on is a great idea. I, I would like to see something like this in a squeezy tube. I think that'd be better personally or a pump. A pump would be ideal because you can just pump out the right amount, dip your brush in, blend it onto your skin, and you're done, you're good to go. I like the innovation of having the roll on. I think that's really cool. I give them like lots of props for that. However, I don't think it actually is a good method of applying it to your skin. So just keep that in mind. Um, you might wanna play with how you are applying it to your skin. I think if you wanna roll it onto your skin like I just did and then blend it out immediately, that's an option. But this gives a beautiful glow, like a really beautiful glow. It has a very soft amount of color to it. It's not overly peachy, it's still very neutral. I think this would be beautiful on dry skin, normal skin, combination skin, even like combination oily, just maybe be a little bit careful um, not to overdo it. It doesn't really dry down too quick. So again, has like a nice like hydrating feeling to it. I think overall, this is really nice. Aside from the roll on part, I think this is a really pretty product. I think it's good for mature skin. I don't see why not. The pigment in it, like the pearlescent glitter in it is not chunky at all. It's very, very fine. So if you're not afraid to have some extra glow, I think this would be really nice for mature skin, absolutely. Dry skin, would 100% would recommend this for dry skin. It feels incredibly like hydrating and just juicy on my skin. Oily is the only one I would say maybe use with caution. But would I go back out and repurchase this? I think I would. I think I would. I just, aside from the roll on being an issue, I think this is a really nice formula. So that again is the Iconic London Roll Away Glow Liquid Highlighter. We have another liquid illuminator. This is also $29. It's from Makeup Forever. It's the Ultra HD Soft Light Liquid Highlighter. I picked up the shade 40, just 40. I picked up the shade 40. So let's see what it looks like on. I can't remember what this looks like, to be honest, or what it looked like when I was picking it out. I think it's like more of a golden. Okay, no, it's more peachy. Really pretty. I believe this is a squeeze tube. Nope, it's, oh yeah, squeeze tube. Excellent, this is exactly what I was hoping for or exactly what I would hope for with the Iconic London. I think they, they should definitely switch it out for like a squeeze tube or a pump just cause this is so much easier. So I'm gonna take my squeeze tube, let's apply it to the back of my hand. There's some inconsistencies with the formula. So I don't like to see this. There's immediate separation from the product. There's a cream here and there, there's a liquid that's just oozing away from that product. Let me mix it onto my hand. Okay, that's much better. Beautiful, kind of looks like the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in like the Pillow Talk shade. Very pretty, very liquidy, <laughs> very, very liquidy. I'm gonna take a brush to apply this. I'm just gonna use a small one from Real Techniques. It's a 206 brush, I believe. And I don't wanna waste this product. So I'm just gonna swipe and pick it up from my hand. And then let's test this out. Wow. So once it's applied to my skin, it's actually stunning. Beautiful. 
So this is the kind of product that you could definitely use underneath your makeup. You could definitely mix this into your foundation as like a mixing medium. Same way I suggest you use the Say. You could definitely mix this into like a more matte foundation or a satin finish to give it that, that vibrancy and that glow. Or you can apply it on top just like I am right now and it looks really beautiful. Wow. So first impression wise, I did not like seeing that product separate and having it be runny and then thicker on, on like the top. I don't like seeing that with a formula that's not great. But just keep in mind, once you actually apply it to your skin, it is pretty stunning. Like that blended in so easy. It did not disrupt my makeup underneath. I mean, I tapped it in a couple times and I was done. So that's easy. Application wise, once it's on your skin, very, very easy. This gives a beautiful, like smooth glow. It's not like chunky. It's like a nice, soft focused, luminous type finish. I think this is really pretty. I would recommend this for anyone, honestly. Mature skin, young skin, oily, combo, dry. I think this is a good, like a really good universal highlighter for anyone. Price point, $29. I feel like you're gonna take a long time to get through this. Okay, so it's 0 0.4 ounces. Not, not bad. I mean, you don't need a lot of it. I definitely put a little too much on. Would I actually go back out and repurchase this? I actually would. I think this is beautiful. And I think I'm gonna put this in my makeup kit, to be honest. So I feel like this would be a really, really beautiful product to use on my clients. So that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light. And it really does give you like a soft lit from within type look. It's beautiful. Okay, we finally are gonna get to some powder highlighters and I'm really excited to just switch it up because I feel like I've been going through so many liquid illuminators and liquid highlighters. So let's get into some powders. We are now in the $30 category. This is from Cali Ray and I've actually never tried anything from Cali Ray. So very excited for this. I think the packaging, like the outer packaging is really cute and really bright and happy. This is actually called High, like High Highlight. It's the Beach Gleamy Hybrid Feels highlighter and it says clean wet technology okay blah, blah, blah. we don't need to get into that it also says in the back this is also cute holy beep that's bright so i'm assuming this is going to be really bright it also says sexy sustainability <laughs> there's a lot of things going on back here i'm just gonna move on we're gonna open this up and try it on my face because that really is truly what matters is what it looks like on your face because Let's face it, you throw out this packaging anyway. I did pick up the shade Moonlight Beach, which is described as a warm golden highlighter. Very cute packaging. Open this up, let me show you it. Ooh, wow. I think I picked a really good one. For this kind of powder highlighter, because it's supposed to be very intense, I'm gonna switch to a small, fluffy, loosely packed brush. This is from, it's a really old one. It's from Zoeva. It's a 134 Lux Powder Fusion brush. Let's dip in. Oh, wow. I like that. It almost has like a creamy feel to it. Let's go for it. Mm, wow. Let's try to buff it a little bit more too. Wow. Okay. That is unbelievably glowy. Super impactful. Surprisingly easy to blend into my skin, even though I did pick up a lot in my brush, which I don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I just really want, I got excited. So I picked up too much on my brush, but you do not need to pick up even a quarter as much as I picked up on my brush. So keep that in mind, unless you want it to be this like metallic, but a little goes a long way. Keep that in mind. It has a really nice soft feel to it. Like a very, very nice soft feeling. I can tell it's like pretty finely milled. It's not chunky. It doesn't feel heavy or like a chalky dry highlighter does like powder highlighter. This definitely has a nice soft finish to it. I think it's a beautiful highlighter incredibly impactful, gorgeous shade. But again, we're not really talking about shades, but the shade is really beautiful that I picked out. I have to say, I really think that's stunning. If you are looking for a bam in your face powder highlighter, definitely check this one out. If you have more mature skin, I'd say you can still use it, but maybe err on the side of caution when you're using it, like just do a little bit, blend it in and be good unless you're really going for it with your highlighter still has a nice smoothing effect to it. So if you have more texture in your skin, if you have more fine lines, I still think you can get away with wearing this without it over accentuating those qualities in your skin. But overall, I think it's a really nice powder highlighter. Would I recommend this? I think this is good for anyone. Again, as long as you're looking for a very bright, very intense highlighter, this is definitely a good one to check out. Would I repurchase it? Yeah, for sure. If I ever ran out of it, which I don't see myself running out of it, but if I did, I would definitely keep this on my radar and try it again. So that is the Cali Ray highlighter. This next one is also $30. It's also a powder highlighter. It's from a brand that I love and I use all the time. It's Makeup by Mario. It's the Soft Glow Highlighter. Again, powder highlighter. I picked up the shade Honey. 
Honey looked beautiful. I swatched it. In fact, all of them looked really beautiful. I swatched all of them in person, but I think Honey was just like very special. So I cannot wait to actually put this on my face because I've only tried it on my hand in stores. So typical Makeup by Mario packaging. I love the sleek, clean, matte white. This is Honey and wow. Let's just, let me just show you. Okay, let me just show you how gorgeous it is on my hand too. Just before we get into it, because I'm really excited for this one. Oh, wow, beautiful. It's so pretty. So same kind of brush, different brand. This is just from Cara Beauty, kind of a random brush, but soft, little fluffy, loosely packed brush is great for this kind of super impactful highlighter. So I'm gonna dip into it. There's not much kick up, which is great. I am gonna tap off some excess because I that's gonna be a lot. And let's just go for it. Wow. I'm already impressed with it because I, I've been, I've swatched it, like I said, a couple of times and you saw how pretty it is on my hand. It has a very smooth finish to it, which I really love. And I think is very surprising when you're looking at a highlighter this intense because it looks like it has a chunky effect to it. So you would think that it's gonna look kind of chunky and like just too plasticky on your skin, if that makes sense. But it doesn't, it has a really beautiful, smooth, almost like a wet metallic finish. You know, like Makeup by Mario has some wet metallic eyeshadows. This has a similar feel and a similar finish to it where it almost looks, it's powder, right? But if you told me this was a liquid, I would be, I would believe you. I'd be like, oh yeah, that looks like a liquid highlighter. I'm gonna put more on cause it's just fun. Color is gorgeous. All the, like I said, all the shades they have are gorgeous. Finish is just phenomenal. Blends in, super easy very user-friendly in my opinion. I think this would be good on all skin types, um, all skin ages. If you want an impactful highlighter and you're not afraid to go for it, if you have mature skin and you want that glowy look to your skin, this is a really great powder highlighter option because again, like I said, it gives a smooth finish to your skin. It looks really silky. It looks like wet and almost like a wet highlighter, even though it's powder and it doesn't accentuate pores. I can't imagine accentuating fine lines because it's such a nice thin, powder formula. So I think this is a really great universal powder highlighter for anyone that wants like high impact. Would I go back out and repurchase this again? For $30, it's an average price and 100%, I would definitely recommend this and I would definitely go out and purchase this again. So once again, that is the Soft Glow Highlighter from Makeup by Mario in the shade Honey. This next one is also powder. It's also $30. It's from the brand Give. This is Gwen Stefani's makeup brand. I'm really excited to try this. The packaging is cute. I mean, this is fine, but like the actual inside packaging is adorable. It's the Check My Glow Multidimensional Illuminating Highlighter. The shade that I picked up is Homegrown Glow. That's cute. So let's open this bad boy up. Also, I, I love the paisley inside. That's adorable. That's cute. Like, this is adorable. I love this packaging a lot. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this packaging. So let me show you how cute it is on the inside. Adorable. Reminds me a lot of Bobbi Brown. I feel like it's a direct knockoff of Bobbi Brown in a certain way. I know Bobbi Brown used to have like, I think blushes with like the squares, but they also had like the highlighting bricks, same size. They were like horizontal pans. Anyway, this looks really pretty. So let's try on the Give Check My Glow highlighter. And let's just apply it with a small brush from Half Caked. It's a 210 setting brush. I'm going to swirl into all of these beautiful colors, which is what you should do when you have like multi-colors in a pan. The idea is you want to get all those colors melted together. So now I have them all in my brush. Let's test this out. Hmm, it smells good. Am I imagining that? It smells good. Like, like hints of vanilla or coconut. I don't know. If, you, if you've tried this and you think it smells like something, please let me know. And let's test it out. Okay, that's pretty. Not like in your face impactful, but that's okay. That means, because we all have different needs for highlighters. So it's good to have a variety. Just because this isn't like as beaming as that Makeup by Mario is not a bad thing. It's a, it's a good thing. You should have lots of different options for highlighters because everyone is different. And everyone's needs are different. This actually has a really smooth quality to it, like it has a smooth finish. I I definitely put a little too much on because I am wanting to like test it and see what it does and work it into my skin. I don't think it accentuates any, in fact, I think it actually smoothed my pores right here, to be honest. Has a really smooth finish, easy to work with, easy to blend on. The color is really pretty. I like that color a lot that I picked out. I think this would be a good powder highlighter for anyone looking for more of a smooth, soft focus look to their highlighter and not such a like, glittery, beaming in your face type highlighter. So with that said, if you have more mature skin and you're looking for a powder highlighter specifically and you don't want it to 
you want to look nice and smooth and just more soft focused, this is a really good option. I think this would be really, really pretty. And then, you know, young skin, obviously oily skin, dry skin. I think anybody could wear this highlighter. I think it's a good universal formula. I'm really, I'm really happy that this is so pretty on because I, I want to like more stuff from Give. My socks haven't been knocked off yet. So I'm very happy to say that I like this a lot. I think this is really pretty. Would I recommend this? Definitely, like I said, for anyone. I think this is good for anyone. Would I repurchase it? Yeah, I think I would. I think this is a really, really pretty highlighter. So that is the Give Check My Glow Powder Highlighter. Next up again, also $30, also a powder highlighter. This one's from Tarte. It is the Amazonian Clay Shimmering Light, Shimmering Light Highlighter, okay. I picked up the shade Rose Gold Glow and it's so funny. Everything Tarte is always Amazonian Clay this, Amazonian Clay that. What does it mean? <laughs> You know, like, what does that mean to have Amazonian clay in all your products? I won't get into much detail, but I'm not like the biggest Tarte user. So every time I go back to a product, it's usually for like one of these videos. I'm like kind of forced to like pick up a bronzer or a blush. And I'm just like taken back to 2012 or 2013 when like Tarte was like the biggest thing on the planet. Like everybody used Tarte. And I just feel like nothing's changed since then. Not to get on a whole, you know, side journey about Tarte, but... Um, anyway, let's test out this highlighter. It looks really pretty and I like this packaging. It's just like very, looks very high, high end, feels very high end. And the highlighter looks really promising. So let's, let's try it out. For this one, let's just try it on with a 116 brush from MAC, just like a small powder brush. I'm gonna dip into this. It doesn't smell like anything. And we're gonna go for it. Hmm, pretty. Very pretty. Very, very straightforward. It's a classic, very pigmented, very luminous, easy to blend on powder highlighter. I definitely would recommend this. User-friendly for sure. It's definitely impactful, but it still has a nice smooth quality to it. It doesn't look like it's a chalky, thick powder highlighter. It has like a soft, luminous finish to it still. Beautiful color. I mean, definitely a beautiful shade. I don't remember how many shades they had to choose from. I wanna say it's probably very low. Um, just because that's tart. But would I recommend this for mature skin? Totally. I think I'd recommend this for anyone. Young skin, oily skin, combo, dry. I don't think there's anyone that can't use this product. So would I go back out and repurchase it? Probably not just because there's so many more on the market that are more exciting to me, but that's just like a personal opinion. I think there's nothing wrong with this highlighter. I think it's definitely a good straightforward powder highlighter that kind of checks all the boxes. So if that sounds like something that you need, I definitely recommend this one. I think it's beautiful. And that is the powder highlighter from Tarte. Next up, we're in the $32 price point. And this is also from Say. I didn't know they had these until I was shopping for this video. It's the Glow Sculpt. It's a multi-use cream highlighting blush. So it's a blush highlighter, but it's really marketed for both. So I had to put this in this video. I got the shade Quartz Glow and it looked so pretty. So I can't wait to try this out. Let's open this up. Love the packaging, very sleek. And that is what it looks like in the packaging. Really, really pretty. I wanna just swatch it really quick. So it kinda of has a creamy, it does, okay. So this has a creamy texture to it. It's kind of like a, it's basically a cream highlighter, but it has obviously like a lot more color behind it. So that's why it's like a blush highlighter. Now let's just swatch it on the top of my hand first. I just wanna see what I'm really working with really pretty color. I'm going to apply this probably with my 109 from BK Beauty. Let's definitely apply it with this. I think this is going to be a good brush for this type of formula. So I'm going to get a good amount on my brush and then swipe it on. And I'm going to put it pretty much on like a blush since it does have some color to it. Wow. That's really pretty, really easy to work with, really easy to blend on my skin. I'm not having a difficult time at all. I think this would make a really good blush topper personally, or just like a simple, more glowy blush, like a, a more sheer, natural glowy blush. But let's say you put it on top of a, a regular cream blush formula and you wanna like bump it up, blend this on top of it. And I think it'd make a great blush topper, like I said. I'm sure you could also use this underneath your makeup as like a glow from within type look. This would probably be really nice for underpainting to be quite honest, but this is great. That is beautiful, wow. I think I actually might put this in my makeup kit, to be quite honest. I think I might have to just give it up for that because I think this is gonna be a really universally beautiful product to use in my kit. Finish is gorgeous. It's not overly glittery. It has like a really soft, 
a soft focus type glow, which I, I love. I think that's so flattering for like all skin types and skin textures. I feel like this has a really beautiful soft focused like smoothing effect to it. I think this would be great for mature skin, oily skin, dry skin, young skin, you name it really, really beautiful product. It's incredibly easy to work with and incredibly easy to blend on my skin. So I love it for that. Very easy to use. Would I go back out and repurchase this? A hundred percent. I think I actually might go out and pick up some more shades because they have more shades available. But yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Highly recommend this one from Say. Absolutely love it. And I'll definitely be using this a lot more on my channel. I'm sure you'll see pretty soon. But that is the Glow Sculpt from Say. This next one is also $32. This is from Merit. It's the Day Glow highlighting balm. So it's more of a balm. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a lot like the, their bronzer, their bronzer stick that I also tried for my bronzer haul. I wasn't a big fan of that one for me personally on my skin. It just didn't show up, but I have high hopes for this one because I did swatch this in person and it did look like it was going to be really pretty, but of course everything's different once it's on your skin. So that aside, packaging I love, easy, simple, convenient, small, love that kind of packaging. But let's first pre-warm this up on the top of my hand. Cream products, you always need to warm up a little bit prior, especially if they're brand new out of the box. So I always recommend this. Beautiful finish, definitely very glowy. And you know what, let's let's do a couple things. Let's just directly apply this because I know, I know Merit is a very natural brand. So I feel like I'm gonna want to get a lot of impact. So I'm just gonna go and like really press this onto my skin. And so far it's going on nice and easy. It's pretty. Okay. Wow. It really gets wet. It gets a very balmy texture. Wasn't expecting to get that glowy, but I'm going to delicately press the rest into my skin with my fingertip. That's pretty. It's not the most impactful highlighter I've ever used. In fact, I feel like the more you kind of press it into your skin, it just kind of goes away. So it's very natural. It's very natural. Let's put a little bit more on Okay. It's pretty. It's just, first of all, I don't feel like it has very good staying power because just kind of lightly tapping it in just to blend it, you lose a lot of that pigment and you lose a lot of the product and it basically just kind of lifts up a little bit. So I don't love the formula personally. I think these are just more difficult to work with. And also I just don't want to put anything on my face that's just going to be gone in a couple of seconds. That's just pointless. Um, personal opinion, I, I do feel like this is going to be gone, like literally off my face within if I were wearing it all day, like I feel like this would be gone in a couple hours, um, maybe sooner. I don't think this is a good formula for oily skin types. I think it's probably gonna slide right off your skin. If you have dry skin though, and you want a natural, simple, glowy cream highlighter, definitely I think this would be a good option for you for sure. So anyone that's looking for more of a natural finish to their makeup and to their glowy highlighter products, this would be a really great option to check out. If you're on the other side and you want more of like a high impact, more of a long lasting highlighter, I'd say skip this one. I don't think it's for you. Mature skin, dry skin, definitely would be a great formula for you for sure. But would I go back out and repurchase this for $32? No, I wouldn't personally. I don't think it's a right fit for me and what my, like my personal tastes are. But that is the Merit Day Glow Highlighting Balm. Coming up next for $32, it's from Fenty Beauty. You know I love the matchsticks from Fenty Beauty and their bronzers. I use them all the time. Big, big fan. I'm going to tell you the, the honest truth. I'm not a big fan of the highlighting sticks from Fenty. I think they're a little too dry. But before giving all this away, let me actually put this on. We'll talk about it and all those things. It's $32. I have the shade Ice Cream. It's 06 Ice Cream. And this has more of like a peachy tint to it, which is really pretty. Let's get into it. I'm going to first take off this old swatch and <laughs> just swatch a little bit on my hand. Like I said, it is a much more dry formula, um, which I'm just not that big on for a highlighter. So, you know, it goes on, it's all fine. I just don't think this is a good formula for a highlighter, like especially if it's a stick. You don't want it to be so dry that it just looks heavy. So to me, this is like, it kind of comes off as like a heavier finish and it's just not very impactful. So it's, it's funny. Like it, it looks really glowy here, but once it hits your skin, it just doesn't do much. So I've, I've always been kind of sad about this one. Cause you know, I love Fenty, you know, I go hard for their products. I think they have some incredible products, but to me, this is not their best product at all. I'm just going to do a little bit more so you can see you just, you don't really get that color payoff and that highlighting glowy payoff 
that you would expect. So would I recommend this? Not really. Like I said, there's just, there's just so many other good ones on the market. I think this is just not their best product in their collection. I wouldn't recommend it for dry skin, oily. It's just not my recommended highlighter. So we'll just keep it at that. Would I go back out and repurchase this? I definitely would not. Um, full disclosure, this one was actually sent to me in PR. So I was lucky enough to try it for free but I'm just not a big fan of this one, unfortunately. But it pains me to say it because I'm a huge fan of Fenty Beauty, but I would definitely pass on this highlighter. So once again, this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Highlighter. This next one is also $32. It's also a stick. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Stick Highlighter. I picked up the shade Hot Sand. Hot Sand looked so beautiful. So I cannot wait to actually put this on my face to properly test out. I'm a big fan of a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. I think they have some really great formulas. I love their blushes in the same formula. So my expectations for this on my skin and not just being swatched on my hand in store are pretty high. I'm not going to lie. So this also has a little brush to it. You know, if you know me, you know my opinion on these. I think they're useless. I think you're better off blending your product on with your finger. And that says a lot for me to say that because I don't believe in necessarily using your fingers for a lot of different things for your makeup. But I would rather have more product in here and just skip the brush personally. Yeah, they just, they just don't work really well for me. So I'm not gonna be using that brush, just letting you know. I'm gonna warm this up on my hand like I do with all new products. But look how pretty that peachy bronzy glow is. Stunning. I think I'm gonna apply this with a 109 from BK Beauty. And I'm gonna do my favorite method, which is get a whole bunch of this on my brush, work it in there, pre-blend it, all those things. Let me make sure I have a lot so it's impactful. And we're going to take this to my cheek. Mmm. Wow. Beautiful. Easy to work with. Super easy to blend on. Granted, I did, you know, do my favorite method, which makes it easier to blend onto my skin. I definitely put way too much on my brush. I couldn't quite tell. But really easy to blend very impactful but in a nice smoothing way this does not have like a chunky glitter to it it has a really wow like a really beautiful wet shine like a wet juicy shine to it i put way too much on let's just ignore the fact that i have a lot of product on my skin the color i picked out is really pretty too i will say i, I really like this color i think this is probably gonna go on my makeup kit to be quite honest that's gorgeous easy to work with easy to blend on did not lift up my makeup underneath Again, let's just ignore the fact that I have a ton on down here. Product-wise, great product. I think it's a great, great product. I would recommend this for anyone. Mature, young, dry, oily combo. Does not matter. This is going to be a great, universally easy-to-use cream highlighter that's very impactful, but has a really smooth, luminous finish. It's not accentuating any pores. It's not going to accentuate any texture in your skin. Feels really nice. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. They did a great, great job. That's a great highlighter. Love that. Highly recommend it. Would I go back out and repurchase this for $32? 100%. Highly recommend this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next up, we're in the $34 price range. We have another product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. When I tell you I have been eyeing this highlighter for years and I, for some reason, never got around to purchasing it, I... Just believe me, I've been wanting to try this for so many years. It's just a classic powder highlighter. This is the shade Iced Out. And this is a, I'm gonna warn you, this is like, put your sunglasses on. Wow, beaming highlighter. This is not for the faint of heart. This is not for anyone who's going for a natural highlighter effect or like a natural makeup look. This is not gonna be for you. I just wanna totally put that out there. But if you are a makeup, like diehard makeup lover and you want that impact, this is very old school in my opinion and this really does get the job done. This will give you that highlight and that glow. So let's open this up. You're not even ready for how pretty this is. Like this makes me so happy. This is like, this is fun makeup, you know? Like there's natural makeup, there's office makeup, there's day off makeup, and then there's fun makeup. This is fun makeup. I cannot wait to put this on my face. So let's just... Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. And we're going to put this on with a extremely old fluffy brush from Morphe. I'm sure they don't even sell this anymore. It's an M501. I'm going to dip into this. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't even know how much I should get on my brush. I just want to keep playing with this. The packaging, the way they like emboss the product. It's just, come on. Like that's absolutely gorgeous. Let's just, let's go like this. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I was expecting a little more. Hmm. 
Maybe I overhyped this in my head. Good old Morphe brush is gonna shout on my face, of course. All right. It's there, it's definitely there. It's more holographic than I was expecting. Like you can see, as I tilt my cheek, definitely a, a unique finish. It's not really like the Tarte or the Makeup by Mario it has a different finish to it. It's a very unique finish. It has a slight holographic finish to it, but in a gold, has a gold undertone. Very unique. That's, I guess, the best way I can describe this. I don't think this is gonna be your everyday type highlighter. I think it's a very specific highlighter, needless to say. Um, I don't think I would recommend this necessarily for mature skin, just because I think it's not quite wearable enough. Um, you can, however, don't listen to me if you want to get it and you have mature skin. Don't listen to me. I just don't, it wouldn't be like the first powder highlighter that I recommend for mature skin. With that said, oily skin, young skin, doesn't matter. You can definitely check this out. I just think it's a very specific highlighter because it gives you a very specific finish. So keep that in mind. So if you're looking for something like this, like this kind of finish, absolutely go for it. It's easy to apply. It's smooth. It's not patchy. It's very um, consistent throughout. It's just really the, it's the finish that it gives you and the color that's gonna be like the very specific part of it. Other than that, formula is fantastic. Ease of use is fantastic. Blendability, great. Looks nice and smooth. But that's about it. That's all I have to say about this powder highlighter. It's gorgeous. Would I go back out and repurchase it? I'm gonna be honest with you, probably not. Because I wouldn't get that much use out of it. Like I said, it's just, it's a little too niche in a way. So with that said, I wouldn't go out and repurchase it because I wouldn't get enough use out of it. But if you're looking for something like this, then definitely check it out. This next one is also $34. It's from the brand Ilia. It's a powder highlighter. It's the Daylight Highlighting Powder. It's talc free. And I have the shade Starstruck. So let's try this out. I've never tried this and I am very excited. I love the Ilia bronzing powders. I think those are really great. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna love this as well. The shade that I picked out is beautiful. I mean, it's not about the shades, but this is a really beautiful highlighting shade. Let's just swatch it. So you can see it on the top of my hand. Really pretty. Has like a creamy quality to it, even though it's a powder, which I love. Without further ado, let's try this on. I think I'm gonna apply this with the this end of a Huda Beauty face brush. So I'm gonna swipe into it. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so beautiful. I love the shade that I got. I'm probably gonna put this in my makeup kit, actually. This is so pretty. I love like peachy. I know I put way too much on, don't worry. I know, I know I have way too much on, but it's just good to see what it can do. Wow, again, let's ignore the fact that I have a, an excessive amount on. The way it blended on was super easy, super quick. I did not have to work hard to blend this on my skin at all. The glow payoff is quite intense extremely impactful. I mean, this is like glowing, glowing to outer space, literally. It's just gorgeous. The feeling of it is really nice. It has a very silky, just very fine, nice feeling to it. In fact, I can even like kind of rub it into my skin. Wow, formula is great. This is a great highlighter formula. I love this. I'm obsessed with this. I Maybe I will keep it for myself. Maybe I'll be selfish or maybe I'll get another one. I think this would be a great highlighter for anyone. Mature skin, young skin, oily, combo, dry. I think that anybody can wear this and will really appreciate this and enjoy it. I think this is a phenomenal, phenomenal highlighting powder. I'm obsessed with this actually. Price point, 34 bucks, not bad. You get a really big pan of it. You, you need a very small amount. So this is probably gonna last you a really, really long time. So would I recommend this? A hundred percent. I think you should definitely go and check this powder highlighter out. Like go check it out. It's gorgeous. Would I go back out and repurchase this? Definitely. So once again, that is the Ilia Daylight Highlighting Powder in the shade Starstruck. Okay, so this next one, I wanna just point out, I very, very lightly applied just a little bit of foundation because, and I left this area pretty much bare because this next one I have in my kit, I've used it for, I don't know, maybe over, over a year it's been out, I think maybe maybe going on two years. I don't know, I lose track of time. No, maybe it's just a year. Anyway, it's from Fenty Beauty. It's the Eavesdrop All Over Glow Enhancer. This is not your kind of glow product that you would put on top of your skin. However, I mean, it could be, and it might, might be marketed that way. I don't recommend it that way at all. It's too liquidy. Um, it's just like, like how I said, the say is gonna be best underneath your makeup. 
same rules apply for this one in my opinion. So I want to just kind of apply it all over just to show you what it looks like as a glow enhancer. This is also great to mix into your foundation if you want to like obviously give it a more glowy finish to it and sheer it out. But this is going to be best used in my opinion underneath your makeup for that glow from within type look. So I'm going to shake it lightly. I have the shade 02 Taffy Topaz and it's just like a really pretty champagne shade. <laughs> this is the product. It's very thin very like jelly-like or gel-like. I think this is a great formula for all skin types. I want to point that out there. Even if you're oily and you're kind of afraid of like liquid illuminators because you think they're going to make you even more like oily looking or shiny throughout the day. I think this is a really great formula even still for like more oily skin types because it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't add like a thick oily texture on your skin. It's very lightweight. So I love it for that. For mature skin, this would be a phenomenal pre-foundation product just to give you that, again, that glow from within look and just some extra hydration too. This does have a nice, like slightly hydrating feel to it. It's, it just kind of feels like, like a serum, like a glowy serum is the best way I could describe it. I'm going to apply this to my skin and just the areas where I don't really have that foundation and get a little bit more. And I'm just going to apply it with a flat brush. This is from Clay de Poe because this is how I would apply it in my professional kit. So if I'm prepping a client's skin and I want that underneath glow, that glow from within, I usually will just kind of apply it with a flat brush and just go do, do, do. It plays very well with most foundations. I haven't really met a foundation that it doesn't work well with. And it's just a simple, really easy to use pre makeup glowy product. So it's a liquid illuminator. Like I said, it's very easy to work with. It's going to work with all skin types, all skin ages. And yeah, it's just, it's just a great product. It's really just easy. It's not super metallic. Just keep that in mind. It really is more of like a wet glow versus a shimmery pearlescent type glow. Like it's more on the wet side, even though it does have some pearl pigment in it, as you can see. It's more on the wet glowy side than the glittery glowy side. So just keep that in mind. So if that's something that you're looking for, I think this is a really great option. I do recommend this for anyone. So like I said, anyone that is looking for this kind of texture underneath their makeup to give that glow from within look, great option. So again, blends out super easy, very easy to work with. You could even just take your fingers, obviously, and just blend it on with your fingers and then put your foundation on top. Very, very easy product to work with. It's $34. You don't need a ton of it to get like that glow from within look. So I think the price point is absolutely fine. Would I recommend this? A hundred percent. I think this is a great product. Would I go back out and repurchase it? A hundred percent. I think it's a really great product to check out. So that once again is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer. This next one is $34. Also, it's from Nude Sticks. It is a classic formula. If you haven't tried the Nude Sticks products, I mean, like literally like it's a classic Nude Sticks tin product. It's the Nudies Glow All Over Face Highlighter. You can basically put this on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks, just like all the Nude Sticks products. It's their very multi-use, multi-function, which is great. And Nude Sticks, they have had great formulas since the beginning of time. I think they've always had really, really great formulas that work well. So I haven't used their highlighter though, I'm gonna be really honest, in a minute. It's been like a minute. I always have a couple, I think I have like currently, probably like three of their blushes in this formula in my makeup kit and I love them. So I love the formula, very used to it, but specifically I haven't used their highlighters in a minute. So I got the shade Bubbly Baby or Bubbly Baby, Bubbly Baby. It looked really pretty. So I'm going to warm this up in my hand and then apply it. And you know what? I'm very confident with nude sticks. And now that I've already visibly warmed this up, like it literally is like melted a little bit, which means it's going to be easier to then blend onto my skin. So I'm going to go for it with this one. I'm going to actually do something I rarely do and I'm going to directly apply this to my skin. Hmm, pretty. I mean, unfortunately I picked a color that really blends right into my skin tone, but you can still see it. I'm just going to tap in the edges of this. It's not as glittery as I kind of hoped it would be. Let's just put a little bit more on. Let's just add a little bit more just because we I want to see what it can do. Okay. I actually really like this finish. You know what? To me, like, first of all, let's talk about how it goes on. It goes on easy. It's not disrupting my makeup, which is a miracle because I did directly swipe it on top of my foundation. 
But again, I know their formulas and I know what they're gonna do. So I trusted it not to completely ruin my makeup. Easy to blend on, very, very easy to work with. Has a beautiful finish. And I wanna point out something. To me, this product is what this product wanted to be and what this product wanted to be, but failed miserably. <laughs> Sorry, not to be mean, but like they're trying, it just seems like this is what they were trying to go for. Like they were trying to be the nude sticks highlighting balm and they weren't like they just were not because this also even has like balm in the in the um description back here too so that really just tells me like size wise everything wise they were set out trying to emulate this formula and they failed miserably so like i said prior don't waste your time with those go for like the classic like go for the brand that did it right in the first place this is a great one i think this is a great great highlighter and I, honestly i think i might even put this one in my kit because i don't have a nude sticks highlighter in my kit and the finish that this gives is like wet and balmy but actually sticks to your skin and actually gives you color payoff and actually stays put and is is actually giving me something whereas those were like where did it go what did it do Nothing. It didn't do anything. It was just a big disappointment and a waste of money. This actually does what it says it's going to do. Incredible formula. I think this is good for anyone. Mature, young, oily skin could definitely wear this highlighter and it's going to stay put, I think, probably very well. Combination, dry, will love it, like beautiful. I think this is a solid, solid, amazing highlighter. I'm, I'm wildly like in love with this highlighter, to be honest. Like this is absolutely gorgeous it's not accentuating any fine lines it's not accentuating any texture i have right here like where i have my more like visible pores it looks smooth healthy dewy oh like all the things you want a balmy cream highlighter to be so would i go back and repurchase this a thousand percent i probably will do i recommend this i recommend this for anybody i think this is a solid choice so if you are interested in trying out this highlighter do it Trust me, you will love it. So once again, this one's from Nude Sticks. It's the Nudies Glow All Over Face Highlight. We're now in the $35 price range and we're gonna take it to a powder highlighter. This is also a very old school formula. It's been around for a very long time and I'm sure it's been copied a million times over. It's from Benefit. This is one of my favorite highlighters I used years and years ago, like another lifetime ago. It's in the shade Cookie. And please leave me a comment if you ever use Cookie because Cookie was like one of the biggest powder highlighters when it came out. It was like so popular. Everyone loved Cookie. Um, I love this packaging. I'm a sucker for the old school benefit packaging. This is just a beautiful highlighter. I cannot wait to show you what this looks like on my skin. And for those that remembered it and used it back in the day, this will be like a trip down memory lane. So without further ado, let's apply this brand new gorgeous cookie highlighter. For this one, I'm gonna use a Refer 18 brush. It's a perfect size little brush. Just get in there and swirl it around. And let's swatch and swipe cookie. Cookie's a classic. Straightforward, like very straightforward, <laughs> classic metallic highlighter. I have a brush here, there we go. Very pigmented. And this has more of a sheen to it versus like a glitter so it may look like it's going to be glittery but once you have it on it's more of like that god what is it what's the word for it it's kind of like um foiled is i guess the best way i could describe it it's not like thick glittery chunky glitter it's more of like a foiled finish once it hits your skin and you blend it on very smooth very easy to work with very easy to blend on just universally great i recommend this for anyone i think even if you have mature skin it has a nice it has a pretty smooth quality to it. It's not accentuating any fine lines or texture or pores on my skin. Very classic, like I said. Anyone that has a need for a bright, classic powder highlighter that's very impactful, but not in a chunky, glittery way, I think this would be a great option for you. Oily skin, dry skin, it doesn't matter. Anybody can use this highlighter. It's, like I said, very, very universal and very easy to work with. So would I recommend this? I recommend this to anybody that's looking for that highlighter, that type of in-your-face highlighter. And would I go back out and repurchase it? I definitely would. Cookie has a special place in my heart, probably forever. <laughs> so this is the, once again, Benefit Powder Highlighter in the shade Cookie. We're now in the $36 price range. And this is also from a classic brand that I, 
I kind of think back, if I'm thinking about powder highlighters, I definitely would think of Too Faced. It is the Too Faced Moon Crush. It's a newer formula for them. I know this is like a, a newer launch. I wanna say within like the last six months, maybe longer. I don't know. I lose, like I said, I lose track of time, but it's newer for Too Faced. It's the Out of This World Highlighter. I'm excited that it says that. There was two shades to choose from. I picked the shade Shooting Star, really cute packaging. Very Too Faced. The physical packaging is where it's at. I love these. I, they look like Polly Pockets to me. They just look like 90s toys to me. <laughs> and it makes me so happy. Beautiful packaging. Let's open this up. Wow. It doesn't smell like anything, which is surprising for Too Faced. Let's face it. Beautiful, embossed, cute. It says Moon Crush in there. That's adorable. I'm gonna, I'm struggling dipping my brush into it because it's so cute, but let's try it on. Okay. I'm gonna use a smaller brush, smaller, loose fluffy brush. This is from LH Cosmetics. It's a 306 brush and we're going to just swipe in here, get a nice amount and let's go for it. Wow. Beautiful. Hmm. I love the way this is blending in. Gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. <laughs> There's really nothing to complain about with this highlighter. It's obviously extremely metallic has a very foiled finish to it. Again, like not like a chunky, chunky glitter, but like a foiled, more wet finish to it. You know, this is like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Like this is the kind of metallic look you're gonna get with these kind of highlighters. So if you're going for that and you want like a wow, impactful powder highlighter, absolutely check this one out from Too Faced, absolutely. And anybody can wear this, okay? So it's not gonna be based on like for mature, young, Anybody could wear this type of powder highlighter because it doesn't have a thick, chunky, dry, chalky finish to it or texture. So if you're dry, if you have mature skin, whatever the case is, it's gonna come down to what your preference is. So if you fit those two descriptions, if you have dry skin or if you have more mature skin or both, but you want a wow highlighter, you can absolutely use this and I would definitely recommend it. It's gonna come down to personal preference, like I said. Oily skin, combo, young, Anybody can wear this. It's gonna be, do you want an intense, unbelievably impactful glowy powder highlighter? Because if you do, you have to check this out. I, I'm already obsessed with this. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Now you don't have to put on as much as I did, of course, but that wouldn't be as fun for me to show you just like a little itty bit. I wanna show you like the full shebang, the full, full show here. So that is, gorgeous. It's not accentuating any texture or fine lines in my skin. Like I said, blended on quick, blended on easy, great formula. Can't complain. Checks all the boxes. I highly recommend this one. Would I go back out and repurchase this one from Too Faced? 1000%. I am a big fan. So once again, that is the Moon Crush Highlighter from Too Faced. Next up is $38. It's from the brand Kosas. It's the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. I have the shade Radiate for myself. I also have another one in my makeup kit. I Spoiler alert, I love this product. I bought it when it first came out and I was really hooked on it. So let me show you why I like it, how I use it and all those good things. So let's pump it out. This is a pump. Sorry, it's forgot to have cleaned it. <laughs> I'm gonna pump this out on the top of my hand. Cause again, this is how I like to actually use it. And let me just take a little bit of this and kind of swipe it down so you can see how beautiful this is. Now, the reason why I like this is because you can use it so many different ways. It works in many, many different ways. You can use it as a mixing product. You can use it underneath your makeup to give it that glow from within, which is beautiful. And you can also mix it on or actually apply it on top of your foundation. So I'm gonna be showing you how to apply it on top of your foundation. But before I do, let's just admire this beautiful swatch on my hand. Another reason why I like this product is because it doesn't pill, it doesn't ruin the makeup underneath. So when you're layering it on top of your products, unless you're being really aggressive with your application, which I don't recommend, it's not gonna lift up your product, even if it's cream foundation, liquid foundation, tinted moisturizer, whatever you're wearing as your base, it's really, it plays really well on top of those products. And then underneath, it's just foolproof. It really acts like a good, it actually kind of acts like a glowy primer for your skin. So I wouldn't use this in addition to a primer. So if you're someone who's using a primer specifically, 
for underneath your foundation. I really wouldn't wear this on top of the primer because it's going to add too many layers of like, of just filmy product. So avoid that. But if you want to use this as your primer that gives you glow, I think it works excellent for that reason. Without further ado, let me show you what this looks like on my skin because I love it. <laughs> and honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I can use this product with any brush. I really can. I I find that most brushes work really well with this product It's because it's a really good formula. So I'm just going to grab a 110 from BK Beauty, dip into it and tap it on top of my cheek. It's just easy, pigmented, glowy. It's just a great formula. They did such a good job of this formula. I got so many of my friends to buy this product. So hopefully they're enjoying it as much as I have been enjoying it. Gonna add a little bit more just to build it up. You can actually really build up this product. It is super layerable. It doesn't ruin that first layer if you go on top of it with a second layer. So again, the formula is just perfect. They just nailed it. It's so good. They also have an incredible shade range too. So whether you're fair, deep, there's going to be a liquid illuminator from Kosas that is going to be perfect for your skin tone, which I love. I really appreciate that. It's not like they just launched two colors and thought that was enough. So props to them. I know I already said it's, you know, blends on easy and all those things, but it really does blend on so easy. It's so, so easy to blend onto your skin. You won't have a hard time. It's not going to leave you patchy. It's not going to pill. It's not going to disrupt. It doesn't do anything bad. So I recommend this for anyone. Dry skin, oily skin, combo, young, mature, doesn't matter who you are. I think this is the, one of the best liquid highlighters that I've tried. I'm obsessed with it. So in case you can't tell, I'm obsessed with it. So I highly recommend it. I think the price point is fine. I know it's a little bit higher, but you do get a lot of product. You don't need nearly as much as I just wasted on top of my hand. So keep that in mind. A little bit goes a long way. They're very, very metallic. So you don't have to go for a lot of it. Just a little pump is all you need. So with that said, it does last a long time. It also, I kind of like this, even though, you know, who knows what it's really doing for your skin, but it does, it is infused with glutathione, vitamin D and vitamin K. I don't know. I just think it's a really great product. I, I, I love it. I highly recommend you go out and try this one. I really do. Would I go back out and purchase this again? A thousand percent. I highly recommend this for anyone. And once again, that is the Kosas Glow IV. This next one is from House Labs. It's $40. It is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. This is the shade Pink Amethyst and spoiler alert, I love this formula. I use it already. I already have the shade Rose Quartz and Rose Quartz is so beautiful. It's like a pink highlighter. You could use it as a blush, depending on what your skin tone is. It's just stunning. So I'm a big fan of this formula, but let me show you why. Let me test out this one again. I picked out a different shade, like I said, pink amethyst for this video, and I'm already a big fan of it. It's a really beautiful, soft, has a peachy pink tint to it, and it's just gorgeous. So let me show you what this looks like on. I'm gonna be applying this one with a really old Morphe brush. It's an M523 brush. And I actually like to apply the ones with more pigment and more color with a blush brush, like a kind of like a smaller blush brush because I end up using it as a blush if it's more tinted, if that makes sense. So bigger brush, I'm gonna tap it on. Easy to blend. Great color payoff, but not like, not hard to work with kind of color payoff. Very, very unique shade. I mean, I love the way it just kind of shifts from like a gold and a peach and you see pink in there. Very, very unique shade, very specific. Now they have tons of other shades to choose from. It's not about the shades, it's about the formulation. I think the formula is a perfect formula. It's easy to work with. Like I said, easy to blend, has a smooth quality to it. So it's not gonna leave your skin looking like, like a chunky glitter, even though it very well looks like it's gonna be a chunky glitter in the pan, just like judging the pan, but it's not on your skin. Very easy to blend, looks smooth, long lasting. I've worn these like all day and they just, they stay put. They're very, very long wearing. So beautiful formula. I'm a big, big fan of this formula. I think it just checks all the boxes. They did a great, great job with this powder highlighter. There's no fallout when you're hitting the brush to the pan. So that's also great in my opinion. And the finish is just stunning. It gives you almost like a wet metallic finish. It's just gorgeous. I recommend this type of highlighter, like this formula highlighter from House Labs for anyone. Mature, dry, young, oily, does not matter. I think that this is has everyone in mind. I think it's a really great highlighter to check out. So would I recommend this? A thousand percent. Love it. Big fan of this one. Would I go back out and repurchase it? Yes. And I probably will pick up another shade just because I'm, I'm collecting them at this point. <laughs> but I love this one. So once again, that is the House Labs Bio 
Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. Next up is one that I've had for years and I've loved this one for years. It's from Fenty Beauty. It's $40. It's the Kilowatt Highlighter. Now these are really cool because you do get two colors. So one's usually more shimmery, like more of like a chunky shimmer and one's more of like a softer focused, luminous highlighter. So chunky, more soft focus. You get the best of both worlds and they always have really good color combinations as well. This one is the shade Mean Money, which is this one. Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Um, beautiful highlighter, has like a peachy gold undertone to it. It's beautiful on, let me show you how beautiful it is. And believe it or not, I like to use this with more of a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna grab a 116 from MAC. Any smaller or even like this size fluffy brush will do. And let's layer. Okay, so we're gonna layer going first with the shade Mean Money, which is a softer formula. And I'm gonna apply it right around here. And again, it is very soft. So you do get the best of both worlds. You get two very different finishes in one highlighter. Yes, this is $40 and it's a little bit higher up there in the price point, but to me, it's more thoughtful because you get two different formulas. So you really do get, I think a good amount of product and just variety for your money. So let's talk about this first one first. It's softer, it's not like a chunky highlighter. It's more like soft focused. You kind of have to, you know, it's not as like eye catching right away, but that's good. So like if you're someone who doesn't want like a blinged out highlighter, this is amazing. Very smooth, doesn't enhance any texture, has just a really soft, like again, a soft focused finish, which I love. I'm gonna flip to the clean side of this brush and we're gonna dip into Hustle Baby. And Hustle Baby is actually my favorite. So let me show you. And by the way, these come in so many different shades, even like fun shades, like bright pinks and there's like purples and just they have really fun shades to choose from. This one's more of a neutral one. And this one was pulled directly from my makeup kit. This is a really well-loved one of mine. So now let's do the chunkier one at the front of my cheek and just kind of layer it on top. Very impactful, still smooth. You know, doesn't, it's not gonna hide your pores this one because it is a chunkier, more metallic finish highlighter. So keep that in mind. But what you could also do too is you can actually just flip the order. So if you're someone who like like me who has more pores here, you probably want to flip the order in which I applied these and then stick to applying the more dramatic one in the areas of your face that are really smooth, that you don't really have any skin texture or issues that you're trying to not bring out. But again, you get the best of both worlds with this one. You get a good variety of finishes, which I think is really helpful to have on hand, especially if you're a makeup artist, you get two different finishes in one small compact. So it's great for that. I recommend this for anyone, mature, young, dry, oily. It doesn't matter. It's a universal, universally great highlighter is what I should say. It's a universal highlighter that anyone is going to enjoy. And again, I just have to point out, you get two different finishes. So you really get the best of both worlds in this. So that is also why I recommend this for anyone. Would I go back out and repurchase this one from Fenty? A thousand percent. I have a bunch of them. I love these. So once again, that is the Kilowatt Highlighter from Fenty Beauty. Next up, we're in the $42 price range and it's no surprise. Once you get into the 40s, it's a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like everything from Charlotte Tilbury is like $40 and above. This is $42. It's the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. It's a liquid highlighter. I picked up the shade Goldgasm. I've never tried this particular shade, but if you know me or if you've worked with me for years, I, for years I have used the Pillow Talk Original and the Pillow Talk Intensity 2 or just Pillow Talk 2 in my professional makeup kit. I live for those two products. I live for them. I love them so much, even though the applicators like to explode in my kit and they like to leak and get all over everything that's around them. So now I put them in a plastic zip Ziploc bag because they're always messy. No matter what, they leak. Something leaks from them, always. So they're in a Ziploc bag and that, believe it or not, that Ziploc bag has Glowgasm and liquid highlighter all around it. So they're, they're just always messy. But the one for my personal use that I have, I picked up another one because the one that I had was just really old and I need to toss it. It's like an old Pillow Talk one. So I also want to try a new shade. Anyway, long story short, I love this product. I've loved it for years. I absolutely hate the packaging. I just can't stand it. It's just messy. It's also really unhygienic because you see this guy right here. First of all, if you're a makeup artist and you're touching this sponge to every one of your client's faces, please don't do that. That's really beyond unhygienic. So take it off. And one of my colleagues actually blasted me for this and was like, Nikki, 
I can't believe you haven't ripped off this sponge. I'm like, <laughs> he just like really told me that he was disappointed in me and it's it stuck with me ever since. And so this new one, I plan on ripping the sponge top or off of. So don't worry, don't make fun of me anymore. I will take this off. And it's a great genius thing to do because once you take off this sponge, you just squeeze it out. You could squeeze it onto a palette if you're a makeup artist, which is what I used to do. I used to smash it onto a palette or if you're using it on yourself, same thing or dot it on and you don't have like this annoying, dirty sponge that's really messy. Okay, now that we got all that out, I just have a lot to say about this highlighter, okay? Now that we got out that about the packaging, let's test it out. Even though I can tell you it's a great product. Let me show you what it looks like on. And the first thing is first is you have to twist it on. So it's on, off, or off, on. <laughs> you have to open it, okay? And I'm gonna squeeze them out and just show you what it looks like on my hand first. And listen, the idea of the sponge makes sense, but once you're in it, like you're in the thick of it, it's not great. So it's a great idea, great concept, but it's like the expectation versus reality. The reality of it is just not that ideal. So again, Glowgasm in Goldgasm, and let's put it on. I'm gonna actually just go for it because I'm gonna take the sponge off in a minute anyway. So that's probably way too much, but I just wanna admire how pretty it is before I swipe it out. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a small brush for this and I think I'm just gonna use a 113 from BK Beauty and I'm just gonna start by tapping it on. Now with this product, there is a learning curve that I experienced when I first started using these. And that is if you apply too much pressure, it lifts your makeup up. So be very careful. So if you're applying this on top of your foundation, if you're a makeup artist applying it as your final step in a highlighting application, be very careful because it, if you apply too much pressure, you're gonna lift all that product right back up and you're gonna be really frustrated. The other thing I don't suggest you do is go back and forth, blending it out. You just wanna be very delicate and gentle and just tap, 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 and you're done. If you do it that way, I promise you, it'll be beautiful every single time. This also works incredibly well as a pre-foundation glow from within type product. So if you wanna underpaint with this and get that underpainted glow effect, beautiful. Swipe it all over, put your foundation on top. It wears great on top of this product. Foundation works well on top of this product, so don't be afraid to use this as an underpainting glow enhancer. It's amazing for that. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say for this. I think this goes for anyone, like anybody with any skin type or texture or age can use this 100%. So mature, young, oily, combo, dry. It works for anyone. It's a really great formula. Packaging, not ideal, but once you get over that and you take that little sponge off, which I will soon, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal liquid illuminator. So once again, I say it's worth it. It's 42 bucks and I know it looks small, but you actually do get a, a decent amount in here. Like it takes a while to go, go through this one. I promise you. So would I recommend this one? A hundred percent. I do love this product. And would I go back out and repurchase it? Yes, and I have many, many times. And I'll probably pick up some more soon because I just fell in love with it all over again. But once again, that is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. Next up is also $42 and it's also from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's also a product that I am a diehard fan of, like diehard fan. I love this highlighter so much, but it's very different from this one. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have the cute little mini. I have the full sizes in my kit. They're a little heavy, they're a little bulky. No, I don't depot them. No, I won't depot them for my own personal reasons. But for myself, this is my this is my little cute mini. So I love to travel with this one. It's like the perfect cute little size. So this mini, FYI, is 19. The full size one is $42. I wear the shade 4.5 medium, and this is just a phenomenal product, okay? Totally worth every penny, whether you get the mini like me and you like to travel with it and use it on the go, or if you get the full size, it is a great, great formula. So the way I like to use this is underneath foundation, okay? But I am gonna be showing you on top of my foundation just for the sake of just continuity throughout this video. 
So underneath your makeup, it's amazing to apply as like an underpainting product. So it gives you that ultimate glow from within. But however, this also gives you quite a bit of coverage. So when I use it, I usually use it on my clients and I put it on underneath. And when I find that I do that, I end up using so much less foundation on them because they're already getting a good amount of coverage with just this product. And their skin just looks so juicy and healthy and glowy. It always is so beautiful on everyone. I use this on everyone too. While I talk about that, let me actually swipe it on. So again, this is my so I'm gonna go directly in with the applicator. Now this shade in particular blends right into my skin. It's basically like my skin tone exactly. Now I'm just gonna tap it in and kind of spread it out. And again, so on top of your foundation, since I already have foundation on, it's gonna give you a very subtle glow. So this is actually one of the best glowy products for mature skin because it's undetectable. It just gives you like this healthy vibrancy to your skin. I'm also a huge, huge fan of using this on my dry skin clients because it really, aside from putting moisturizer on and serums and hydrators, like skincare hydrators, this gives that instant, like I had a facial and I just have fresh, juicy skin underneath my makeup or just in general. So I love this product, like specifically for dry skin people because it just adds like a filter of hydration to your skin. It's really hard to explain. It really is magical. And it's in the title. It says it's a Hollywood flawless filter. It really does give your skin a filtered look. So I wanna point out too, this is really important. It's not like a glittery highlighter. This is something very unique. I wanted to put it in this video because it does give you a glowy effect to your skin. So it kind of is like a highlighter, but I don't use it like a highlighter. I don't use it to like highlight specific parts of my face. Like I would a powder highlighter. I use this more as like an all over glow prep. So keep that in mind. If you use it in that way, you're going to absolutely love it, but you can just like I showed you right now, you know, apply it on top of your foundation and your products or your blush and things like that to add an extra bit of glow. But I really think that the best way to apply this is as like a foundation and then put minimal foundation on top of it. So who do I recommend this for? Like I said, anyone, dry skin, oily skin combo, young, mature, anybody. This works well on anybody. It doesn't accentuate fine lines, texture. It's really easy to apply, really easy to blend out. It plays well with so many different products that I've experienced in my kit. So I love it for that. Would I go back out and repurchase it? I repurchase this all the time. I'm a huge, huge fan. So it's one of those products that when I run out, I always go back and get more. Do I recommend it? A million times over. So once again, that's the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. Next up is also $42. It's from Fenty Beauty. And it's also one of my favorite products of all time. <laughs> this is the most magical thing, I think, in general, makeup wise. Are you ready? It's this. You've probably seen me use this many times. This is something I always have in my makeup kit. It's always, always in my makeup kit because it just adds like, it's like a magic wand to anything. Your skin, your eyes. Well, I guess that's it. I wouldn't put on my lips, but it's just the most beautiful product. It's phenomenal. Okay, so it's a highlighter. They make many other shades. I have the other shades as well, but this one is by far my favorite. This is the shade How Many Carrots. It's the original one they came out with. And this is like an all over... Well, they call it an all over diamond bomb. Yeah, diamond bomb, but it's for all over. So you could put on your, your collarbone, your shoulders, your decollete, anywhere you wanna be like, bing, like glistening, this is it. So how beautiful is this? Like, it's just stunning. I use this all the time as like an eyeshadow topper. It's just magic. It's really purely magic. Let me just swatch it so you can see it. Oh. I got my sister hooked on this too. And I think this is like the only highlighter she ever wears. Without further ado, let's swipe how many carrots diamond bomb on my cheek. Now for this product, I do like a fluffy little small brush. So I'm just gonna use this little one right here. Pick up a little bit, just swipe it on. So this has no color underneath. It's completely sheer. The other ones have like, there's one that's like a, has like a bronze tone underneath and the one that has like a pink tone underneath. This one is completely clear. It's like crystal clear. Like when you think about like a diamond ring, how you can see through it, that's exactly what this is. Like literally it's like they crushed up real diamonds and they made a highlighter. It gives you a wet, juicy, glistening kind of glow to your skin, but in a powder form. It's really just 
Honestly, it's one of the best formula products I've ever tried. It really is. Like, I'm just going to say it. I've, I gate kept this for a really long time. I'm not going to lie. I kept it like top secret in my kit for a long time. And I've always been surprised that not that many people talk about this, to be honest. I'm always shocked. I think this should be like a viral product. Do I recommend this for anyone? Anyone. Anybody can use this and wear this. Doesn't matter if you're young, mature, if you have dry skin, oily skin combo, does not matter. If you are looking for like that unbelievably glistening, wet, metallic look to your highlighter, then you absolutely have to try this one. Like it's the, one of the best ones I've ever tried, period. So again, look at that. It just doesn't get better than that. It's just, it's stunning. Just try it. If you try it or you buy it after this video, you have to comment and you have to tell me what you think because I just, I'm excited for you to try this. So would I recommend this a million percent to anyone? Anyone that wants a glow, you have to try it. Would I repurchase it? Yes, and I have. I actually broke one, so I had to repurchase it. I've given one away. I had to repurchase it. I've purchased many of these, and so I con will continue to repurchase it. But once again, that is the How Many Carrots Diamond Balm from Fenty Beauty. It's a must. Do I have a throwback for you? It's $42. It's from Smashbox and Becca. So do you remember when Becca was a brand and they had the most incredible highlighters on earth and you had to have them? But do you remember specifically Champagne Pop? <laughs> if you do and you wore it, you have to comment and let me know. This is such a blast from the past. So if you don't know, Becca was sold, Smashbox bought them, and now Smashbox continues to sell their highlighters and a lot of their products too, like their under eye brighteners, all, all like the main products. I'm thrilled. I'm so happy because I remember when they came, they announced that Becca was closing. It was a really sad day for all of us makeup artists and just makeup lovers because this highlighter was just perfection. It's one of the best, it still is one of the best highlighters on the market unless they changed it. We'll find out together. But Champagne Pop specifically was like the viral at the time highlighter. So I had to get it. And I'm so happy that Sephora carries this one because again, these are all highlighters that are specifically carried in store at Sephora. So they now have this at Sephora in store. So thrilling to see it there. So, so excited and so excited to now put this back into my makeup kit because I, you know I'm going to if I don't keep it for myself. Maybe I'll keep it for myself. But let's try on Champagne Pop together from Becca. So I'm going to apply this one with a Refer 18 brush and oh, wow, wow. Should we swatch it? Let's swatch it on my hand too. Let's just, come on, let's just really enjoy this one. Wow. Pretty, right? Is it what we remember? Hopefully. Okay, now let's apply it to my cheek. Oh my gosh, yes. Wait, I put way too much on, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's for like the fun of this video. Oh my gosh. This is so beyond pigmented. Wow, that's a highlighter. Still looks smooth. It is gonna accentuate a little bit of whatever texture, or if you have large pores, it may, or it probably will accentuate that just a touch. I think overall, it's not that bad though. I mean, it still looks pretty smooth. It's just this one little area of my inner cheek that looks a little, you know, just avoid that area. I should have avoided it, but I'm just getting too excited and I'm applying it all over because I wanna see how pretty this is. And I miss this highlighter. That's really pretty. I still recommend this for anyone, even though I just talked about like texture issues. I still think this is a really beautiful highlighter. It's a great formula. They have amazing shades. This is just the one that I loved the most back in the day. I think this is good for anyone, mature, young, oily, dry combo. It doesn't matter. It's a straightforward highlighter. So if you're looking for one like that, then absolutely go check it out. It's worth checking out. Do I recommend it? A thousand percent. Would I go back and repurchase it now that it's available again? Yes, for sure. Okay, we're getting up there in price. We're now in the $46 price range. This next one is from Hourglass. It's the Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. I, I just noticed that, Flash Highlighting Stick, that's cute. So it's a stick, it's a cream form. I have the Vanish blushes from Hourglass that I really, really like them. So I, I have high hopes that I'm gonna like this as well. I picked up the shade Pink Flash. And in hindsight, I have a lot of pink highlighters now. I don't know, I was really in a pink phase when I was picking out these highlighters or shopping these highlighters for this video, but it's okay. I, you can't go wrong with pink. So this is the form that it comes in. It's a stick, you can twist it up, which is kind of cool. It's pretty sleek, to be honest. Like that's some sleek, cool packaging, which I wouldn't expect anything else from Hourglass. And also, you know, you, you're paying for it. So you should get some sleek, cool packaging. It's $46. So let's swipe it on my hand first because I want to pre-warm it up anyway. Beautiful. It went on really creamy. It didn't go on dry. I was actually expecting it to be kind of like drier where I'd have to 
warm it up on my skin to kind of get it going. But it goes on really nice and creamy. It's not dry. It doesn't feel dry anyway. And I think, you know what? Just because I, it really is really creamy, very creamy. So I think I actually might swipe this. Oh yeah, okay. This is very soft. Wow, this is a really nice formula. I'm gonna swipe this directly on my skin. I have confidence in this. After feeling it on my hand, I have confidence that it's gonna go on smooth on my cheek. So let's directly apply it. Let's do one big swipe. Okay, let me get some more. You know, it's always so much more impactful on my hand versus my skin for some reason. And then let's just tap it in. Okay, it's pretty. It blended in really nice. It, it blends in actually really easy. It looks decently smooth. Yeah, I don't think it looks really like too uh, chunky of a highlighter. No, that looks pretty. It looks smooth. I, look, I like that. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like a, a thick stick cream like I would kind of expect when I when I look at something like in this kind of packaging. It feels really nice, creamy, easy to work with. It's almost kind of balmy to be honest, which is nice. Let's see if it's buildable. I'm gonna build up a little more intensity. Okay, so it's definitely, it's buildable. It's not ruining the first initial or second initial layer that I have on my cheek. It's actually layering really nice on top of each other, which is a really good sign. I feel like this is a great a great highlighter. Um, aside from the price just being super expensive, I think this is really nice. Anyone who's looking for a stick or a cream highlighter, especially when it's easy to use, like when you're on the go, like we're in terms you can just have, you can just kind of swipe it onto your skin, dot it on and blend it in with your fingertip. If you're looking for that kind of like on the go ease of use, I think this is a really good one to check out. The fact that it has like a silky, like balmy, texture to it, it doesn't feel dry. I think this would be a great formula for dry skin types. It's not gonna feel or look heavy and just kind of cakey on your skin. Anyone with oily skin could definitely use this combination, doesn't matter. I think Mature is gonna love this. I think it's a beautiful finish, like beautiful. It's not overly glittery. It's a very soft sheen, which is really nice and flattering. God, it feels really nice. So would I recommend this one from Hourglass? 100%. This is really nice. If you can get over the price point being very high, then it's great and I think you'd really enjoy it. Um, will I go back out and repurchase it? Yes, I would repurchase this. I do, I like it. Yeah, the price point sucks. Let's be really honest here on this channel. The price point sucks, but it's Hourglass. So do we expect anything less? Probably not. Would I repurchase it? Fine, I would. It's really pretty. So once again, that's the Hourglass Banish Flash Light Stick Highlighter. <laughs> okay, like I said, we're getting up there in price. This next one is $48. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. <laughs> I, never, I never looked at this name until now. So it's basically a powder highlighter, okay? It's a very fancy name, long name for a powder highlighter. It's cute though. Like I like the way they actually put examples of where you can highlight. That's really cute. I didn't even notice that until now. Cute packaging. It's $48. I picked up the shade Pillow Talk Glow because I love Pillow Talk. I love anything from the Pillow Talk collection. Call me a sucker. I don't care. I just really enjoy it and it makes me happy. So I have another pink highlighter sh to show you. It's okay. Oh, I like that it's in the same compact as the um, airbrush powders, even though those break constantly on me. So I'm assuming that's gonna happen with this too, but we shall see. Very cute. It says Hollywood on the front with like stars and stuff. Ooh, beautiful inside. Has like the embossed stars. It's cute. It's Charlotte Tilbury. All their packaging is beautiful. All of it's really jeweled and you know, it's just fun. I love fun makeup. You, If you, you know, I don't even need to tell you that. I love fun makeup. Let's apply this one with a smaller powder brush. This is just the other side of my double-ended Patrick Ta brush. Let's swatch it. Oh, wow. That... Why? Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm like, are you coming out? That's interesting. Why? Why does that happen? I don't think that's on purpose. Let's swatch it first because it's always just so impactful. Okay. Well, it's not crazy impactful, but that's fine. We need variety of highlighters out there for everyone because there's always something for everyone and their needs. So let's go ahead and apply this now with the brush to my cheek. Mm. Oh, I love Pillow Talk so much. Obviously I, I'm putting way too much on, but let's just really experience it together. So blend it on really easy, looks, beautiful. 
It's not overly glittery as you can tell on my hand. It has more of like a sheen to it, like not like a glittery highlight effect. It's more of like a glowy sheen look. So I, I love it. I think this is beautiful. I think the formula is really nice, very impactful, but in again, like more of a sheen, soft focus way. That looks beautiful. I love the shade. I love the Pillow Talk series. Like I said, I love all the Pillow Talk, everything. Give me all the Pillow Talk. So I'm excited to have this in my collection. That's beautiful. I really have no complaints. I don't have any complaints at all. I think this would be good for anyone. Mature can definitely wear this like 100%. It looks, it actually looks pretty smooth on my skin to be quite honest. Like I feel like my pores look smooth. My skin looks really smooth. So I think anyone with even like large pores or more textured skin could definitely get away with this powder highlighter without any kind of issue of it accentuating. Mature skin, young skin, dry skin, oily combo. Whoever you are, whatever category you fit into, I think this is a great powder highlighter. This is nice. This is really, really nice. I am a big fan. Do I recommend this? I do. I think this is really beautiful. I know it's higher up in price, but it's a perfect formula powder highlighter. So if you're looking for that, go for it. And would I go back out and repurchase this one? I would. I think this is great. I really like this a lot. So once again, that's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. I have the shade Pillow Talk Glow. We have another one for $48. This is from Pat McGrath. It's the Divine Glow. I picked up the shade Venus Nectar. Oh yeah, I remember this being really pretty. Okay, I can't wait to try this on my skin. <laughs> I've only swatched it. Beautiful packaging. Come on, like you just gotta give it up for Pat McGrath and the packaging, inner, outer packaging, it's all just stunning. It's so beautiful. So this is the highlighter. It's the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter. Let me show you how beautiful it is on the inside. Love. I want to say this almost looks like it's been touched. <laughs> there's no like, there's a ring around it. Like maybe it had been like touched or I don't know. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but there's usually like a plastic film that is inside, but I do not have that. And I have some visible fallout on mine. <sighs> You know, it's tricky out there. You never know if you're gonna get a product that's been touched <laughs> or tried or whatever. Let's swatch it on my hand first because I wanna just show you the impact. Beautiful. So this is a beautiful, almost like a bronzy peachy glow or a nectar glow, like the name. So let's try this on. I'm gonna use a Zoeva 111 Petite Face Finish Brush and just kind of use the tip of this brush to apply this highlighter. And let's go for it. Wow. Wow, wow. I don't feel like I put a lot on my brush, but I, I apparently I did because I have a ton of highlighter on my face. <laughs> wow. Okay, all jokes aside, let me buff some of this out because I went a little overboard with this. Okay, can't get it off because it's like stuck to my skin now. So we're gonna ignore how much I have on. I mean, I know it's not about the shade, but I really picked out a stunning Shade, I think this is gonna go in my makeup kit, to be honest, this is so beautiful. The way this looks on my skin is gorgeous. Wow. Blend it on in two seconds, even though I have a ton of product on my, I had a ton of product on my brush. It's still blended out really easy, looks smooth. I don't see it, I mean, I really don't see it accentuating any pores around here too much. Looks just wow. It's a wow highlighter for sure. It's like a very impactful, very stunning highlighter. I mean, it, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Do I recommend this for anyone? I recommend this for anyone. Let me just say that. I recommend this for anyone, just like with the, uh, the Hollywood Flawless one from Charlotte Tilbury or the Becca one. It, I recommend this for anyone who's looking for a very impactful, very like luxe, bright, shimmery highlighter. And it's like high impact. So if you're looking for high impact, this is for you, for sure. I think anyone can use it. Dry, oily, combo young, mature. I don't think that there's anyone that can't use this. It's going to come down to just like some of the others, it's going to come down to preference of what you're looking for. So if you're looking for that high impact, I think this is a stunning, a stunningly beautiful highlighter for sure. Would I go back out and repurchase this one? Yes, definitely would repurchase this one, even though it's pricey. I think it's worth it. I think it's just gorgeous. It's glistening on my skin. So once again, that is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter. This next one, it's from Westman Atelier. The full size one is $48. And the only full size cream products I have from Westman Atelier are the blushes, because I go through those so often. I think those are better to purchase in a full size, if that makes sense. But this one, if you're gonna try it, get the mini. Now, let me also say, I was pretty bummed out because I know I own this 
somewhere. Could I find it for this video? No, I couldn't find it anywhere, but I know I have it somewhere. So I had to spend another $25 to get the mini, but it's okay. It's for the sake of this video, so I'm all good. But this is the lit up highlighter stick from Westman Atelier. Super sleek packaging. I am a big, I always do this too. I'm a big sucker for Westman Atelier packaging. It's very luxe, it's very expensive. Um, I'm sure it's part of the reason why you spend so much money on these products. Like there's an actual magnet in this. Magnets aren't cheap. <laughs> if you're putting them in your makeup containers, they're not cheap. It also has like the logo embossed in here. I could go on forever. I love good packaging. So we're, it's not about the packaging. It's just a side note. Let's talk about this actual product. This is kind of similar to a couple others that we just watched earlier. It's a cream. It's going to be very sheer. I'm going to swatch on the top of my hand just so you can see what it does. Now, the cool thing about this one it's not your basic sheer balmy just for the sake of this video and demonstrative purposes. It's not like this. This is completely clear. There's nothing added in it. There's nothing. There's no crushed pearls. There's no pizzazz. There's no jazz in it. Like there's jazz in this. So at least you get a sheer balmy highlighter that has light reflecting pearlescent pigments in it. So it's actually beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. This is a beautiful product on it can be a little difficult to use. So let me show you how I like to use it. There's a couple ways you can use it. I'm gonna show you one just easy way to use it, which is just taking it, grabbing a smaller brush. I think I'm actually gonna use, um, I like a more precise brush for this product to be quite honest. And this is the kind of product highlighter wise that I will use in very, very specific places. And I really am thoughtful and careful with how I apply it because with these balmy textures, if you are not careful, they can easily break up your makeup that's underneath. So if you're, especially if you're a makeup artist or if you've just applied your makeup on yourself and you have your foundation on, you have your blush on and you go to put this highlighter on top and you're rubbing too much, or you're too aggressive with the application, it will really, really disrupt your makeup underneath. So this is how I like to apply it. Take a small brush. This is the 113 from BK Beauty. Take the brush to the product get a whole bunch. I like to get a lot, should be enough. And then I just tap it. Light pressure, you're just gonna go do, 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 and you're done. So by taking your brush and dipping it into the product and then applying it to your skin, you're skipping the blending part on your face. And instead you're doing all the pre-blending of the product in this order and then directly apply it to your skin and you're done. You just tap it on, you're done. And this is the best way to apply because again, it doesn't disrupt your makeup. It doesn't give it a, a patchy effect. It's not gonna lift it up. It's not gonna mess anything up. So. This highlighter is absolutely beautiful. If you want that lit from within, glossy, gl again, glass skin type finish to your makeup, if you want that balmy, juicy look to your skin and not like an actual physical, glittery, powdery highlighter, then this is definitely for you. Mature skin, it looks phenomenal on mature skin, like absolutely phenomenal on mature skin. I should, I should really like harp on that. It's like beautiful on mature skin. Oily skin, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not gonna be a long wearing product if you have really oily skin. If you're combination, if you're normal, definitely recommend it. Would I go back out and repurchase this? Yes, because I have, <laughs> and it's a great product. Um, just a little bit of a learning curve when using it, but other than that, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. So once again, that is the Westman Atelier Highlighter Stick in the shade Lit Up. Next up is $48, it's from Dior. This has been a favorite of mine for many, many years. If you know me, you know I love this highlighter. I recommend this to so many people because you get everything you need in one, in one. And also you get great formulas as well. So this is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. Now in the back, it shows you the colors that you get. You get a strobe white, a strobe gold, a blush pink, and a blush bronze. They're just beautiful. They do make other shades in this palette. However, this is the original one. It's the 001 Universal. It could be a little tricky to find. It's usually sold out. So it is a little bit on the, the difficult side to find. Just keep that in mind. But if you can find it, or especially if you're a makeup artist, this is just such a must in your kit, in my opinion. I've talked about it for years. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let me show you how I like to use it, why I like it, all those things. So I actually love this as an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be really real with you. This is a beautiful, these make beautiful eyeshadows. This all over, this in the tear duct or all over, this across the crease. I mean, I could go on forever. I use this palette for so many different things. I also will use this as like a blush chopper because it is more pink, obviously. It makes a beautiful blush topper for more of a matte blush. You can just pop this on top and it makes a beautiful topper for your blush. I love this palette. Okay, let me just get into it. Now I usually use more of a fluffy brush just to kind of swirl into all the colors. Now I'm just gonna swirl into these top three because this one's a little bit more deeper and bronzy or on me. So I'm not gonna use this shade in particular on myself. 
So I'm just gonna go and carry my brush in like a little C shape and get these three shades right here. And we're gonna go for it. Now it's not like a glittery highlighter. So I find that I can really use this on anyone, even if there's someone who wants like a natural look to their makeup. This doesn't give you like that chunky, more uh, like thick glittery effect to your highlighter. It gives you more of like a soft focus, more of like a soft sheen. So it really is just stunning. It photographs unbelievably beautiful. You don't have to swirl them together. You can use them all individually, which is also a great way to use them. In fact, let me just use my fingertip. I'm gonna dip into this white frosty one. And I'm gonna just do a little like pinpointing highlighting. So right in this highest point of my cheekbone right here, you can kind of pinpoint and it's almost like popping a little spotlight on it on certain areas of your face. So if you wanna really like specifically highlight certain high points of your face and bring them out even more, if you use that frostier one or if you're a little bit deeper in skin tone, you use this deeper bronze one and you pinpoint your highlighter and it's like putting a spotlight or a flashlight in that one little spot of your face. It's really phenomenal. It really is just a beautiful product. I could go on about this forever, so I'm gonna try to cut this one a little bit shorter because I've talked about it so many times. But this one to me is a perfect universal highlighter for anyone. Mature, 100% you can use this. Young, oily, dry, it doesn't matter. There's something in this palette for anyone. So I think it totally justifies the price being a little bit more up there. In my opinion, you know, you get, let's just point this out, okay? For $48, okay, let's say you were to get four of these, that's like 84 bucks. This is the same size as one of these pants. So if you think about it in those terms, especially if you're a makeup artist or if you're just a makeup consumer and you don't wanna buy a million highlighters, you wanna have one that gives you quite a bit of variety, I think this is a great buy. I really justify the price in that re regard because you get so much for your money. And again, as a makeup artist, this palette is essential. It will make your life so easy. When I do travel jobs and I'm, I need to minimize my kit, which is my least favorite thing to do as a makeup artist, but when I'm traveling and I can't lug all like my all the things that I wanna carry with me on a regular basis, I know if I just pack this highlighter, it doesn't matter what model I'm gonna have, it doesn't matter what their skin tone is, their skin type, it doesn't matter. If I just have this, I'm set. So do I recommend this? I recommend this for anybody and everyone you should go out and try to get this if you can would i go back out and repurchase this a million percent i have two in my collection and i just i love them so so much so once again that is the dior backstage glow face palette i have another dior highlighter for you and this one is also beautiful i have not used this one in a really long time I'm just gonna throw that out there so i'm excited to use this again it's the dior forever couture luminizer i picked up the shade 03 so 03 is a pearlescent glow, you know, totally up my alley. I love a pearlescent glow. <laughs> this reminded me a little bit of the Fenty How Many Carrots. I've never actually applied this to my face. I've only ever swatched it and I have another one like this, but in a different shade. But I saw this at Sephora and I just couldn't resist it. First of all, packaging is beautiful. And if I didn't say it already, this is $50. Okay, so the last one was 48, this one's 50. This is like a little leather cushiony, tufted is the word. It's a tufted compact. How it's luxe. I mean, this is like luxe Dior. So here's what it looks like inside. It is pearlescent. And truth be told, I'm probably gonna put this in my makeup kit and use this as an eyeshadow topper and for more for like a beaming spotlight type highlighter. But let's test it out on my face because I've never actually worn it on my face. First, I'm gonna swatch it because how can you not? It's beautiful. It feels a little bit dry. Wow. So yeah, it's that pearlescent clear wet kind of glistening glow. Really pretty. Can you see that? Really pretty. So for this one, I'm gonna apply this with a fluffy brush. Nothing too dense, because I don't want it to be, I want it to go on a little bit softer. So just pick it up with a really old Y14 Morphe brush and I'm gonna swirl into it and let's go for it. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Has a slight blue reflect to it. Whereas like the Fenty one, it's pearlescent as well, but it doesn't have any color shift to it. Like it doesn't have a color shift. I feel like, and maybe it's just what I see in person. Maybe it's not translating on camera, but I feel like it has like a slight blue shift to it. Maybe not intentionally, but wow, it's, it's beautiful. It definitely gives like a wet look to your skin. Like you can see it looks really wet. It blended into my skin with complete ease. Um, there's a bit of fallout to this product, which I'm not, you know, I 
which isn't great, but it's there, just something to note. I don't think it's accentuating any texture in my skin, surprisingly. It just looks like a healthy, I mean, it looks like it's liquid, to be honest. Like if you told me that this was a liquid highlighter on my skin right now, I would say, yeah, okay, well, that looks like a liquid highlighter. It looks juicy and glowy and, and dewy and wet. I think this is good for anyone who is looking for this type of finish with their highlighter. So if you are looking for that pearlescent, more wet metallic look, like where it looks like like just a wet sheen on your skin and you don't want to have any color behind it. You want something that's completely like almost sheer, even though this one has like a slight blue shift to it. This is great. Um, I don't think it's this you know, gonna be specific to any age group or skin type. So if you're mature and you're looking for this kind of highlighter, go for it. Young, oily, dry, doesn't matter. This is a universal highlighter. So it's gonna be very specific to what you're looking for finish-wise. So if you're looking for this type of finish in your highlighter specifically, then this is a really cool one to check out for sure. It's definitely pricier than even just like the Fenty one that was what, $40? It's definitely more pricey than the Fenty one. Um, I think the Fenty one, if we're comparing these two, just because they're so similar, I'd go with the Fenty one personally, but this is still a really close second and it still looks beautiful on. Um, it just, it feels a little bit thicker on my skin. That's one thing I should point out. But again, blend on easy, has a little bit of fallout. It's just something to note. Would I recommend this? Yes, if you're looking for this type of finish, I recommend it. Would I go back out and repurchase this? I probably would. I think this is really pretty. This is definitely impactful. It's unique. It's gorgeous. So that again is the Dior Forever Highlighter. It's in the Pearlescent Glow shade. Next up is a whopping $58. It's a newer product. It's from Westman Atelier. It's the Liquid Super Loaded Highlighter. So it's like a liquid highlighter, liquid illuminator. This is a shade Powder Rose or Powder Rose, Powder Rose. I have the other two shades. I have all the shades. I was actually gifted these in PR from Westman Atelier. Thank you to Westman Atelier. But the other two shades I put in my pro kit. That's how much I like them. <laughs> that tells you a lot. But I like these in a very specific way. And actually, typically I would just put these underneath my foundation. That's why I have them in my makeup kit. But I'm gonna show you on top of my foundation. I'm also gonna swatch this to show you what it looks like on. So make sure you shake this because it is a liquid and it actually says two to shake it. So I'm gonna shake it up. And then since this is a squeeze tube, I'm gonna squeeze this out on top of my hand. And first I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my hand. We'll just kind of swipe it down. It's very juicy, very emollient. Like it feels really good. I imagine this would feel great if you have really dry skin. I don't have really dry skin, but I keep this in my makeup kit. Like I told you, I have the other two shades in my pro kit because this works as a really nice glowy primer for drier skin clients of mine. And it just works beautifully under makeup. So it looks stunning. There's not a whole lot of pigment or color behind this product at all. So there's three shades. I have the, a lighter one in my kit. I have the deepest one in my kit, but both of those are really interchangeable to be quite honest. Like they, there's not a lot of color pigment behind it. So I find that anybody really can use these shades. It doesn't matter what your skin tone is. You could wear any of these because they are, once they're blended on, they're pretty much com almost completely sheer, which is good and bad. I like it for that reason because it's easy to work with and I could put it on anyone. But the main reason why I like this product is because the feeling is amazing. Like I said, it works incredibly well under makeup. Now I'm gonna show you on top of makeup, but just keep in mind, that's not my preferred way of, of using this product. My preferred way is underneath makeup as a glowy prep to give you that glow from within type look underneath. You can also mix it in to your products, but again, underneath is really where it's at. So use it as a glowy primer. So I'm gonna pump out a little bit more and I'm gonna use a 109 brush for this and just get a good amount and tap it onto my cheek. Now, since this is very emollient, be very careful if you're gonna use it in this way. Don't rub it too hard, don't swipe it too hard because you will lift up your makeup underneath because it is more, like I said, emollient. So it doesn't really dry down. It stays really juicy and glowy and wet looking and very balmy looking. So. Again, it's very specific. And if you are looking for a highlighter or a glow enhancer with that kind of finish, then you'll love it. I think it's really phenomenal. The one category of people that I don't really recommend it for, to be quite honest, is oily. If you have really, really oily skin, I just don't think this is the best formula for you. I would much rather you pick up the Kosas Glow IV. I think that's better for oilier skin because it has a little bit more of a dry down. So it, it just kind of helps to stay put on your skin if you have oily skin. So the way it looks on top of foundation is just balmy, wet, juicy. It's not like a glittery product. It's very soft, very luminous. I think this is phenomenal for mature skin and dry skin. I think those are like the two categories that are going to benefit the most from this type of highlighter. 
but you can also use it if you're oily, just use it with caution. Just, you know, if you want to try it and you're oily, by all means, go for it. Combination skin, combo oily, combo dry, totally fine. But again, I think the best person for this is more of a dry skin person or more of a mature skin person or both. Dry and mature, you're gonna love it. So easy to work with. Um, again, my preferred way to use this is underneath the makeup. You can definitely layer on top just like I did. It layers on top still very easy. It just doesn't give you a, like a high, just more like subtle and glossy and balmy. So just keep that in mind. So would I recommend this one? Yes, absolutely. I know it's up there in price. You don't need a ton of it, but I still think it's a really great product worth checking out. Like I have in my makeup kit, that says a lot to me because there's not much room in there to put new products. Would I go back out and repurchase it? I would, because I really enjoy this product. I think it's beautiful. So once again, that is the Westman Atelier Super Loaded Highlighter. We're nearing the end, if you can believe it. We're in the last three highlighters of this huge highlighter haul. All highlighters that are sold in store at Sephora. This next one is a highlighting palette. Now this is a little tricky because it's the Hourglass Ambient Palette. And when you really actually look up what this is, it's not marketed as a highlighter. It's marketed more as like a soft focus, kind of like a filter for your skin. And it really truly is that. However, this does have a sheen to it, as you'll see. It has a sheen to it. It gives you a soft glow to your skin. I'm a huge fan of this palette. I keep these in my makeup kit. They have three different shades now to choose from. This is the second level of intensity. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. You can wear these as eyeshadow. You can wear them as bronzers all over. You can wear them in so many different ways. You can wear just this one as an under eye brightener. It's just a beautiful highlighter. So the way I like to use this palette is, again, so, so many ways, but I use this more as like a finishing powder. So whether that's all over or if it's just on the cheeks or if it's usually all over, I usually use this all over my client's skin because it gives such a soft focus filtered effect to anyone's skin. This is also, I think, incredible for dry or mature skin. It brings a vibrancy and again, a filtered look to anyone with more mature dry skin. It just, it's magical like magical. I've used this for years when I used to do bridal makeup. I used this all the time. Back when I was using it like the most, they didn't have any other shades to choose from other than the very first palette, which was very difficult because it's a very light, like fair, light to medium palette, like skin tone wise. So it limited you, but it was a beautiful formulation. I use it all the time, specifically on Mothers of the Bride. I loved that palette because it just really gave the skin beautiful filtered look. So I'll stop talking for a second and let me show you what these look like on. Now there's a couple ways you can use this, okay? And there's a couple ways that I like to use this. One is more of like a specific highlighting area. So I'm gonna take a small brush and show you how to just use one specific color. So this is the lightest one in this palette. So I would use this to give a soft focused highlight effect. And again, keep in mind, soft focus. You're not gonna see a glistening wet glow to this product. It's not like that kind of product. It gives like a soft focus, glowy effect, like highlight effect to your skin, but, but not a traditional highlighting sense. So taking that first shade and just bringing it right here. This gives that like very natural highlighted effect, but in a non glittery way, just brings like that light, a little bit of a light cast to this area of my skin. Now you can also do this just right below it for a little extra color but the way this makes your skin look. So if you are someone who has more textured skin, larger pores, wrinkles, fine lines, this, don't be afraid of this. I know it's powder and sometimes people are really afraid of powders when they have fine lines or wrinkles. Don't be afraid of it. This is actually gonna be your best friend. It just smooths over your skin in such a magical way. It's totally worth the price tag. In my opinion, it's $69. I know it's not cheap, but you know what? You're worth it. <laughs> in my opinion, you're definitely worth it. The other way I like to use this is by swirling a bigger brush. This is a 103 from BK Beauty. I love this brush. Swirling all three of the colors, okay? You're just gonna go in there, you're gonna go to town. And since this is nearing the end of this video, I'm gonna show you this on my forehead, okay? Which is my favorite place, one of my favorite places to apply this palette. So I have all three of the shades and just bringing it all across my forehead for the healthiest, soft focus and filtered effect to my skin. How easy is that? And look how pretty that is. It's stunning. So let me show you one more time. I'm gonna swirl into the, all three colors again, and we're just gonna kind of hit the side of my cheek, almost use it as a blush. So just sweeping it back. It's just beautiful. It just brings this life and this soft focused, flawless look to your skin. It's just, it's magical. It really is magical. I, I highly recommend this product, especially if you're a makeup kit 
and you want that extra like expensive look to your makeup applications, this is where it's at. Like 100% pick them up. They're beautiful. You'll get so much use out of these. And if you're just someone who wants this gorgeous, flawless, like glow to your skin, this filtered effect to your skin. And it's incredibly easy to use too. So like ease of use is like a 10 for this product. It really is like you don't have to have any skill to use this product correctly, in my opinion. It's so, so easy to use. So if you're looking for this kind of finish, absolutely hands down, get it. I recommend it for anyone. Like I said, dry, mature, love it. Absolutely love it. Oily, young, doesn't matter. Anybody can benefit from this. I recommend it for anyone who wants this kind of look to your skin, this soft focus, filtered look to your skin. You have to try it out. When I go back out and repurchase this, I do all the time. I love these. I will always have these stocked in my makeup kit. I will always continue to use these. So hopefully they never get rid of them. I doubt it. Um, are they pricey? Yes, but they're absolutely so worth it. So once again, that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This one is the shade Golden Bronze. Okay, we're down to our last two and I'm actually really thankful because my cheek is now starting to get irritated and red underneath my makeup. All that swiping and swatching is now taking a toll. So I'm happy to say we're on down to the last two. They're beautiful. They're very pricey. So just a forewarning, if you don't want to be tempted, just maybe, maybe skip this part, but stick around because it's really fun to see the last two. They're very pricey, but they are beautiful. The second to last one that we're going to try out is from Westman Atelier. It's the cream. It's like a super loaded tinted highlighter. I've talked about this before. You know, I love it. It's one of my favorite products. It's very luxurious, very high end, very weighted, very, very luxe in your hands. It is $75. I know $75. It's not cheap, but again, like you deserve it. If you want a really expensive, beautiful cream highlighter, you might want to check this one out. The one that I have and the one I use the most is Powder Rosé. It's a, and it's a beautiful rosé type shade. It's just stunning. You could tell this one's really well loved. I'm about to hit pan. I'm so close. Before I put this on my skin, I'm going to apply it with my fingertip and just swatch it for you all so you can see how beautiful that is. It's creamy. It's very impactful. But it has almost like a mousse feel to it, like a bouncy, almost mousse feel to it. And it's very long lasting. So it's a cream, but it stays put really well. I love it for that reason. I love this for anyone. So I'm going to put this out there right now. I recommend this for anyone. If you have oily skin, phenomenal. It's well, doesn't slide on your skin. So if you have really oily skin, like it's still going to stay put really well. So I love it for that. Combination skin, obviously amazing, totally fine. Dry skin can absolutely use this and will probably love it. It looks beautiful on. It really is just stunning. Mature, young, anybody can use this and like this. Let me show you what it looks like on. One of my favorite ways to apply this is a 109 brush is by using a 109 brush from BK Beauty. So I'm going to dip into it, pick up a decent amount. And also like a side note, I use this a lot either on its own as a very like light sheer blush or I use it as a blush topper. So I'll put like a matte cream on first or like a non shimmery cream blush first. And I'll put this on top as a topper and it's just gorgeous. It's just stunning. Okay. Without further ado, second to last highlighter. Let's swatch it on my cheek. It's just so good. It's just such an amazing formula. $75. And I know, I know that's re a ridiculous price. I know, but get ready for the, the last one. It's just beautiful. It's just stunning. It blends on incredibly easy. You don't have to work hard. I could just keep going because it's fun to just keep swatching it onto my skin. It looks smooth. It doesn't accentuate texture. It doesn't accentuate, you know, any larger pores you might have. It blends super easy. The sheen that it gives you is just out of this world, beautiful. I love this shade in particular so much, but they have other shades to choose from as well. They're not pink, but this is just a stunning, stunning highlighter. I love this. The only drawback to this is the price. That's the only complaint I have about this formula is the price is outrageous. You know, I, I bought it. I love it. I enjoy it thoroughly. If you want to treat yourself to a very high end, very expensive, but really beautiful formula cream highlighter, then I think this is definitely worth checking out and I highly recommend it. So would I go back out and repurchase this one from Westman Atelier? Yes, and I plan to. 
when it runs out, I'm gonna definitely go pick up another one because it's just, it's stunning. So once again, that is the Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter. We reached the end. I'm sad, but I want to say thank you all. If you have gotten to the very end and you've stuck it out with me and you've kept me company, I just want to give you a big thanks. And the last highlighter is probably not going to be a surprise. It's almost funny to me at this point because if you've watched my other huge haul videos like my blush haul, my bronzer haul, all the blushes, all the bronzers that they carry in store at Sephora, then you'll know, you'll probably guess what the most expensive highlighter is that you can buy in store at Sephora. Drum roll, please. Okay, you ready? No surprise. It is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Highlighting Duo. This is $90. 90 They're all $90. I know, but this is $90 as well, just like the other ones. I want those $95. $90. Let's see what $90 of two highlighters can get you. Now, I picked up the shade Moonlight. Moonlight is classic. It's just classic. Tom Ford's classic. It's so expensive, but let's enjoy it together. Let's swatch it. Let's do all the things and talk about all the things. And then we'll we'll round up our thoughts. So this is the packaging. It comes in this little bag. However, mine just came right out. Beautiful, beautiful, classic, expensive Tom Ford packaging. So it opens up like this. You get two shades. You get very big pans, so you know, there, that's definitely something that we'll talk about in a second. You, you get two full size pans of highlighter. One's obviously lighter, one's a little bit deeper. I have been eyeing the shades or this one in particular, Moonlight for years. And I mean, no surprise, you know why I didn't buy it is because it's $90. And I'm like, I can't, just can't, I, I don't want to justify it. But I justified it for this video and I'm really happy because I'm going to put this in my makeup kit for sure because I've been wanting to for years. So without further ado, Let's put it on. But first I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. So let's start with this top shade. Pretty. And now the second shade. Mm. One's more of like a champagne undertone. The next one is, it's I'd say it's like a classic, slightly rosé type undertone. I don't know, why do I associate them with alcohol? It's like the easiest way to describe them. I don't know why. So let's try these on. I'm gonna take my Refer 18 brush and I'm gonna dip into this top shade first. Let's see what this Tom Ford $90 highlighter looks like on. If you've ever wondered what it looks like on, I'm here for you. So let's swipe it. Hmm. Okay. You're right. It's a bit chalky. It's definitely a bit chalky. Let's dip into this deeper one, slightly deeper one below and see what we can do. All right, that one's better for some reason. This one just came out really chalky. It feels more like a dry formula. It doesn't have like, it doesn't have, you know, I mean, I know it's a powder highlighter, I get that, but there are chalkier, drier formulas and then there are more like emollient, you know, not so dry formula powders out there. So this is not one of those. This is like one of those more classic, dry formula highlighters. Um, I don't like that feeling. It's fine. It went on fine. It looks fine. It's not accentuating any pores or any um, texture I have like right around here. It looks really smooth on my skin. I just didn't like the way that I applied. I feel like I had to really force it and really like pack it onto my skin to get it to do what all of these others for half the price did. So that's a little upsetting. Um, do I think it's worth $90? No, it's pretty, but like I would be raving about this. If this was like a $25 highlighter, I'd be like, wow, beautiful for 25 bucks or even $30. Okay, let's just say it's like $30 the max. I'd say, wow, this is like incredible formula. It's beautiful for 30 bucks. Definitely try it, you know, checks all the boxes, you know, all those things. But when you're talking $90, then it's just like at that point when it's $90, you're just going to be picking apart that product. Cause if it's not like if it's $90, your expectation is like way up here versus if this was $30, my expectation would be here, like at a normal level. So with that said, that's why I'm picking it apart because that's what you do with a $90 product. The only thing that I could say in its defense is the fact that you get two full size pans 
for $90. Okay, so one of these for 45 isn't outlandish. So now we're getting really technical and like really dissecting it and I, I feel bad, but trying to get my overall thoughts on this. I think if we looked at them like 45 bucks each, it's still pricey and the formula is not impressive enough for $45. And it's certainly not impressive enough for $90 for two. Cause what's the point of having two highlighters that aren't even impressive, right? You might as well just have one that's not impressive. You know what I mean? It's like double disappointment at this point. It's pretty, it looks nice. It probably will, will wear nice. It will probably work for dry skin, oily skin, mature skin, oily combo, young, all the people. It's gonna la it's gonna work for anybody. But is it worth ninety dollars? I'm sorry, Tom Ford, but it's not. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. It's pretty. It's beautiful. Don't be surprised if you see me using it in tutorials or if you see me using it on set on my clients because I want to get my money's worth and it still is pretty. However, out of all the highlighters that we just experienced together that looked so beautiful, that are less than half the price, it's not worth it in those terms. So do I recommend this one? No. Will I go back out and repurchase it? No. Am I gonna get my money's worth now that I have it? Yes. <laughs> so get ready for that. This was the last one. And once again, this is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Highlighting Palette in the shade Moonlight. Now that we sat here and tested out 45 different highlighters that are all sold inside of Sephora, let me give you my thoughts. Let's let's get to some conclusions here. What do I recommend versus what do I really strongly think you should avoid? Let's start with the what I think you should avoid. I think you should avoid these highlighters. These highlighters specifically, I think you should definitely avoid and don't waste your money on. I just talked about this one. It's $90, the formula is really dry. It's not super impactful. You can just get so many other great formulas that are a powder highlighter for less than half the price, more than less than half the price. So. I would avoid this one from Tom Ford, sadly. And then the rest are creams. I would definitely avoid this one from Glossier. It just didn't do anything. It's just it very underwhelming, disappointing. It was difficult to work with and difficult to blend on. So I would definitely avoid this one. This one from YSL, it's the new halo tint highlighter. This was just really disappointing once it hit my skin. It was pretty when I swatched it, but overall it was really hard to work with. And there just wasn't much product and like pigment behind it. Like there was no umph behind it. So don't waste your money, avoid this one. And this one again is very sad and it pains me because you know I love Fenty Beauty, but an honest review is an honest review. Avoid this one from Fenty Beauty. It's the highlighter, match stick, any of the shades. They're just really dry and they're just not impactful. So, and they're not really easy to work with. So I would definitely avoid this one from Fenty Beauty. Now let's get into the ones I am obsessed with that I highly recommend that I think are just must haves or must tries. Like you should definitely try these if you're looking for a highlighter that is sold inside of Sephora, try any of these highlighters that I'm about to show you. The first one I think is one of the best, if not the best liquid highlighter in Sephora is the Kosas Glow IV. I love this formula. I talked about it, you know, you know my thoughts already, but I think this is one of the best liquid highlighters, if not the best liquid illuminator highlighter in Sephora. It's just an incredible formula. You can do so many things with this. It's so impactful. It's easy to work with. It just checks all the boxes for me. Now, as far as creams go, don't be surprised. I think this is just, such a great cream highlighter from Westman Atelier, but I have options. If you don't wanna spend the $75 for a cream highlighter, I think that the Nude Sticks is a close second, a close runner up, and it's half the price. So if you don't wanna spend 75, maybe just spend 35 instead and get a really great, easy to work with cream highlighter. But in my opinion, these are two of the best, best cream highlighters that are sold at Sephora. The next one I'm gonna show you is just an overall best buy. Like best buy, best bang for your buck, most useful, most practical powder highlighter. And no surprises here, it's the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is $48, you get four different shades. You can do so many different looks with this. You can work with so many people using this palette. It's going to just cover all the boxes, check them all for you. It is just a perfect highlighting formula. It does not chalky, it's not dry. It doesn't accentuate texture or pores on your skin. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal highlighter. If you can go pick this one up, it's one of the best ones in Sephora by far. The next one I'm gonna show you is most unique. The most unique, just impactful and just impressive powder highlighter has got to go with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter. This is in the shade How Many Carrots. They have three shades to choose from. This is the original one. It's just stunning. It's a perfect powder highlighter that gives you a wet, high impact, high shine look to your skin. It's just really a stunning and unique highlighter. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it to just highlight the top of your cheeks. It's just stunning. It's just so stunning. If you can, and you want like an in your face, very impactful, like bam type highlighter, 
you have to give this one a try. I think it's one of the best, best powder highlighters that are sold inside of Sephora. Okay, the next three that are in this category are just three classic highlighters that you just can't go wrong with. So they're kind of all the same to me. So I, I just couldn't narrow it down. So let me show you what they are. The first is a classic. It's from Benefit. It's the Cookie Highlighter. This is just a classic, classic powder highlighter. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. Checks all the boxes, gives you high shine, high impact, easy to work with, all those things. And then the other one, it's a classic highlighter that is just very similar is the Too Faced Moon Crush in Shooting Star. They have two shades. Any of these are just, they're a great buy. They really are. They're a classic powder highlighter formula. And the other one, and the last one that I want to recommend that you just can't go wrong with is the classic Becca Now Smashbox Highlighter in the classic shade Champagne Pop or any of the shades they have are just phenomenal. They're just, you cannot go wrong. And they have great shades to choose from too. So these three right here, to me, they're interchangeable. To me, they're just basically the same product. They all work exactly the same. They give you the same kind of impact and high shine. And they're just a classic powder highlighter. So can't go wrong with any of these. Highly recommend them. I think they're some of the best that are sold inside of Sephora. So these are just my standouts. These are the ones I recommend the most out of all the ones I tried. And that doesn't mean that any of the other ones are bad. They're not bad at all, but these are just really the ones that stand out the most that I think you should, if you're in the market for a highlighter, you should stick to these. That wraps up this video. And thank you so much for spending this time with me and watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you missed my blush haul or my bronzer haul, you can check them out right here. I'll also link them down below in the description, as well as links to all of these beautiful highlighters that I just tried on for you all. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.